What's good, y'all? My name is Dylan Green, and this is Real Notes, a space dedicated to blurring the cultural and artistic lines between rap and film. I'm here to chop it up with everyone from rappers and producers to journalists and video directors about their relationship to movies and how, if at all, film inspires their craft. My guest this week is New Jersey rapper Papo2004. We spoke about Titanic, Goodwill Hunting, White Classics, Hood Classics, Get Rich or Die Trying, the lack of imagination in Hollywood, why he prefers realism over fantasy, listening to the youth, inspiration versus biting, rap regionalism, hot takes about the 90s, and its general creative process. Come fuck with us. What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to Real Notes. Uh, back after, uh, back like we never left. I was only gone for a week, but you know we're back. We're we're, we're back at it. It's it's fall. It's 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 like cold, but also kind of hot. You know, global global warming got us fucked up. But you know, Dylan Green, Cinema Sky. I got a lot of names. I do a lot of shit running around. And today today we got somebody here who also does a lot of shit and. Runs Switch. around a whole bunch of fuck. Yeah, he's already at it, bro. Fucking, <laughs> fucking, fucking Elizabeth, fucking Elizabeth, New Jersey's finest. You got a rapper. Yeah. It's, a, it's a preppy nigga extraordinaire. <laughs> exactly, all over. Fucking, all you already know. Fucking yeah, we got fucking Papo two thousand four in the building. Yeah, yeah, fucking Jersey yeah. representative. Hell yeah, son. Thank you so much for like even expressing interest in being here. I appreciate you more than you know. Yeah, I was tapped in. I uh, I was just scrolling through YouTube. I think some of the interviews was popping up. I just clicked oh, the show the YL John a minute ago. Yeah. that's that's so fire. That's one of my favorites too. Yeah, wise wise amazing. He he's he's yes, but but no, like that means everything, man. Thank you so much. Like just like, you know, yeah. like I was just with bro like, niggas watching the Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> We lost the white culture. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know I, shit. Man, I feel you. <laughs> like, oh, that's, that's... No white people's type shit. <laughs> that should be crazy. Every time I know though. That's so that, that, that's so funny. I was talking to my, I was talking to my girl because my girl ran through the Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I haven't watched it yet, but he's 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 a wild boy. I I like I know like all the the, the basics about him but he's he was on some other shit <laughs> that, that's... Fucking, i didn't even notice i was in milwaukee that's where bro was from mm -hmm. it's crazy bro it's crazy. yeah man you, you just like yeah yeah we <laughs> we could get into that if you want but on top of that you know like you've been going crazy with the music shit over the course of the past couple of years like it's, you know you, you know like people are people are, it feels like more and more people are starting to get tapped in and it's just beautiful to see so i want to yeah. um yeah, first off, congrats, because, like, that's always good. Yeah, no, nah, for uh, real. We've been uh, working, putting in hella work. It's just got subject work and overtime. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all, you know, you, you, you two, you two have been going nuts this year. Like, I'm, I'm just, I, I just, I just love to see it. I linked with subject in Chicago uh, back in July. And, yeah, just, like, seeing y'all work has been beautiful. So, yeah, just congrats on all that. Oh yeah, appreciate it. Fucking good to have people listening to my shit. I yeah, was making music for a minute. It's just picking up now. It's lit. Damn, good shit. So let me ask you the first question I ask everybody who comes on here. Well, what? Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, you already kind of went into it, but like, what's the last movie you? Or actually, no, maybe not. What was the last movie or TV show you watched that you had a strong opinion about? Um, is that shit called uh, Goodwill Hunting? That shit hard. Oh. Oh man! Wow, was it your first time seeing it, or like you, you yeah, seen it before? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm trying to tap into my white, to my white folks. So I started watching all the white classics. So what That's inspired that? What inspired? I just that? was on the plane. They didn't have nothing I like, so I was like, I gotta watch Goodfellas and Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> like, I just be hearing these names. I'd be like, Who the fuck is Ben Affleck and shit? Like, I just know he fucked J Lo and shit. Like, I don't know what these niggas go for. <laughs> for real, so what? So, so, so what'd you think of Goodwill Hunting? It was lit, honestly, because I had just left Boston and shit. I had got on the flight in Boston, so I was like, "Oh, it's lit! These niggas is crazy." They, they was bugging in that John. I fuck with it. That and um, I saw Goodfellas too. That's my yeah. first. Time. That's the last two. Yeah. Wow. 
And how do you feel about Goodfellas? Because that's like a fucking classic, you know? That's the one right there. Like, hella shit I just be hearing in raps. I'm like, oh, this is where they got that from. It's crazy. Like, yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah, man. That's, yeah, that's, it, it, yeah, like, that's like a staple for so many people. Like, it just like, and just like, the one thing I always come back to is the fucking scene where bro gets pistol whipped in the driveway. Like, that shit is just... <laughs> yeah. Them niggas is bloody, bro. For real. Them niggas is crazy, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I want to hit a mission with them, though. For real, for real. That would have been, like, the first Dominican made man. <laughs> break the rules, nigga. Fuck all that. Have you, have, you, have you dressed up like you were on the fucking continuous movement fucking, fucking cover and shit? Yeah, exactly. I went to a thrift store and just bought a suit for seven dollars. I was like, "Yo, it's time." I never even had a suit before. Oh man, wow, that's a lot of firsts going on for you, bro. Yeah, bro, I got my bro. Hell of shit, this year's been lit. No lie, I got a passport and shit. Fucking went to London, Paris, and shit. So it was lit. This right? Year's been lit. Yeah. Word. Damn it. Yeah, damn, I forgot y'all were running around. I want to get back. Yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to get back to that later. But like, what, um, so like for you growing up, like as a JIT, what was, can you remember the first movie experience you had? Like it could be at the theater, it could be at your cousin house, wherever. Um, like, I, uh, boom, I could say probably like Titanic. Mm hmm. John Elway just won the Super Bowl. That shit finished. We had the big ass VHS. Like the double VHS Titanic jump. I watched Titanic. That's the first movie. That Space Jam is like the first shit I can really remember. Right. Oh, and Mighty Ducks. Funny. Like oh, that Mighty Ducks. Like Mighty Ducks, yeah. Space Jam, um, um, Bugs Life and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And, next and it's Friday, so funny. Great. Like watching next Friday, it was lit. Damn. That's so many... A, A, those are so many great movies. B, it's so funny that Titanic is the first thing you thought of since, like, that's, like, I feel like Titanic is, like, the pinnacle of white culture when it comes to movies, yeah, like, especially at that time. Like, <laughs> it made it. That shit, that shit made it to my, life, to my side of the world. I can't lie. Titanic made it. <laughs> I fuck with that right. shit. <laughs> lit. Titanic. Niggas, I, I haven't heard nobody mention that movie in dumb long. It's like, bro, that's the goat. They got the goat. That's the white goat too, Leo Leonardo. Yeah, bro. He he was he was yeah. he was going crazy around that too because he had like Recently, that. And, he um, had just said he had just said he was like, um, how do you stay lit in the movie world? He said, don't do no superhero movies, and I fuck with that shit because I still ain't watch no superhero movies. <laughs> Oh man, you still you you, you ever see the single one? Uh bro, probably by like Spider Man with Peter Parker and shit. Right. I ain't watched nothing like past two thousand eight. I ain't watched no movies. No movies, period. Nothing. I ain't watched The Hangover. I don't fuck with Seth Rogen and them niggas. Shit, Matt Corny. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't really like new new the way shit looking right now. They don't got good mm -hmm. ideas. Niggas ain't as dumb as they used to be. Everybody's trying to be too smart. Like you got to be dumb to make a fire movie. It's crazy. <laughs> I feel it's that whole, sometimes. Yeah, like people be trying to like, yeah. It's like yeah, like especially especially when it comes to comedy. Like I like I was just talking about this with somebody not too long ago. It's just like you don't see you don't see too many like good like like because like people want to laugh at all times you know like regardless of how that comes about and it's just weird to not see very many like comedies in theaters like you can't yeah, like, like go to the movies and like and like watch something that's like guaranteed to you know like on some like on some like old school type shit like the fucking yeah, like, will ferrell movie and shit like that's yeah. that's the one of the like i fuck with bro i fuck with will ferrell and them like them niggas, they was taking risk and shit. Like these new movies, it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna put a stoner and like he's gonna smoke and forget to do his job. And, like, bro, nigga, these niggas crashed the wedding and shit. Like that's some real shit. Like wedding crashes is <laughs> fire. Like, what, what wedding crashes is tight. Yeah, I fuck with them niggas. How they go crazy. I had a I had a list. I too. like uh, yeah. What you what you like? Let me see what you fuck with. Like, let me see what you into. So, um, so what's it called? I saw it for the first time, but it came out in 2019. There's this, uh, there's this comedy called Good Boys. 
about these like three kids who go to um they're 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 in like middle school or some shit. It's kind of it kind of reminded me a lot of Super Bad, but like they're like even or, or, or no maybe not even middle school. It might have been like elementary school. They couldn't have been like they were like just fresh teenagers type shit. And it's just like the three of them. Like one of them wants to go to a party, and like one of them is just like a nerd who never leaves the crib, and like it, it's it, it's just like some real classic like just like some really like classic like three friends getting into some fuck shit type of movie but like they're all little kids and they're all cursing and fucking just like all sort like they don't understand what sex is and they're like making like it, it's just like a, it's, it's like a bunch of fucking i don't know <laughs> i had a great time with it i was i watched it with my sister uh last well, you week watched my sister that, put me like, on and I was, uh, uh apple I, um, I think apple tv i yeah, think I just I, um, that um, down. Um, um, you got it you, yeah, no, you gotta buy it. It's funny as hell, though. I fuck with it a lot. Like it was, it was, it was. It really, it, you know, like it gave me, it gave me that feeling I haven't had from like a from like a comedy in a long ass time. You know, it was, it was nah, nice. It was nice. If I really think about it, it ain't really been a dope comedy in done long. Like Kevin Hart and The Rock be making movies and shit. Like they ain't trying to watch that shit. <laughs> Like, nah, bro, I'm not. I'm not trying to see. I'm not trying to see DC Super Pets. <laughs> that's what I'm like, saying. Like, like it's crazy, bro. Like, I used to watch like Not Another Teen Movie and fucking like Road Trip, Euro Trip, shit like oh, that. Like, that, was goofy shit. that was a time. Yeah, like, shit don't even be goofy no more. Like, shit crazy, bro. Like, shit super crazy. Like, shit don't even be goofy no more. Like, I'm a goofy. I'll be on some goofy shit. Like, yeah, I fuck with scary movie. Like. Real two thousand shit, like yeah, niggas right. doing some funny shit. Niggas ain't even funny no more. Movies right, don't. Man. It, it's like that was like a. Sorry, I mean to cut you off. Nah, I say we got good technology, but the action movies be looking mad fake right now. Like it's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I don't even be like tapped. I'm so into this music shit. I don't be tapped into uh entertainment world like that. I feel you. Yeah, I'll be but watching. You said you can't. What? I'll just be watching like interviews and shit, academics, like yeah, a little dumb rap shit. Oh. Uh, you said uh you um you said you came with a list of movies though. You said you came yeah. with a list of something, so yeah, run, I have, run, I have run that for me real quick. I bet. Oh bell, I gotta go look for it. Boom. Oh, where's that? Uh oh, I got next Friday. <laughs> That's number one on the list though. That's the best movie. Okay. Better better be, bro. Yeah, that movie's amazing. <laughs> Your fellas. Scarface, that's the genre right mm-hmm. there. Not another team movie. I already sell these dogs. I fuck with Tom Green heavy. I don't know if you know who bro is. Oh, yeah, I know who Tom Green is. I remember yeah. Freddie got fingered and all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. that's the coat right there. So, like, get rich, eight miles, shit like that. Yo, this is shit called Prison Song. You ever seen that? Nah, I don't think I, I, don't think like, I know what that is. Joe and Q Tip, and like, they were foster kids, and like, they got in a fight. And I think Fat Joe threw Q-Tip on the train track, and Mary J. Blige is Q-Tip's mom. And no way, like, bro. She turned into like a drug addict. This shit, bro. It's a good ass DT movie, bro. She crazy. I never heard of that shit in my life. That's wild. That's like on some. That's some. That's on some. Um. That's on some. Uh, Carmen, a hip hopper type shit. That's yeah, crazy. It's like, some, <laughs> it's like some, bro. It's type fire, bro. If you ever got time, bro. Fat Joe got a few movies. He's in them shits. I'm a fat, super fat Joe fan. Fat Joe got crazy ass oh, movies. Be low key in. It's another Joe with Mac Ten. It's like a West Coast movie, and Fat Joe is just like the Puerto Rican from New York with the work. And I bought these Air Force. <laughs> just Fat Joe had them on in that movie. That shit too crazy. Like, I'll be watching rap shit. Like I've really been into this rap shit my whole life. So like that's what really I'll be trying to watch. That's rap movies. That's hard. Like rap movies are great. You know. Like I was just. I was just. Um. Like I feel, I feel like every other week I'm always thinking about state property. You know, exactly. That's like that's like been on my mind a lot for some reason. Like <laughs> it's like it's like the actor might not be uh all the way, but the stories be lit. So it's like yeah. I rather some shit like that because like these niggas they just be having all like Squid Games and shit. Like all, all these Korean movies people are obsessed. With. It's like yeah, do y'all really like that, or is it just because it's getting good reviews type shit? <laughs> A lot. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't even. Find a lot of them are good though. Fucking um. Tra- um. Um. What, what's it called? Like you got You got to check Train to Busan at some point. It's a. It's. A, it's. It's this fucking zombie movie. It's a Korean word. zombie movie. It's fucking crazy. It's so good. 
Because I don't be against it or nothing, but it's just like, why yeah. is everybody running towards Korea right now? We in fucking hey, America. Man. We supposed to be <laughs> Hollywood, like, type shit. They got, we because they got it going crazy over there, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We <laughs> might just be slacking. Yeah. We, hey, you know, like, it, it, it is what it is, bro. We're kind of, we are kind of slacking right now. Like, it's, it's, Not, like um, there's good shit heard, out there, but, like, it's... I heard crazy, this though. new Viola Davis movie was fire, though. Um, Woman King. Oh, The Woman King? Yeah, I'm trying to catch that at some point. All the big homies is like, yo, you got to go see that, bro. I'm like, damn, what? And I'm hearing it from people. It's like, these niggas don't even talk to me about movies. They say, yo, go check that out. I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah, I tell you, know, that shit's different. Like, Word, when, like, like everyone's like, talking about it, like... This should fuck around, win the fucking award, this shit. Man, we'll see. Um, but now I'm curious. So, what's your favorite rap movie ever? Because there's there's like twenty thousand, but like, what's your favorite one? I get rich or die trying. Okay, that's the one. You said. Yeah, bro, get rich or die trying is better than Eight Mile. And oh, you the think whole, so? shit, I don't know if that counts as a movie, but Fade to Black. The documentary? Like, yeah, sure. Why not? I fuck with those two, but get rich to die trying. That shit is real, bro. It's like, and I seen that shit getting shot. Like I seen one part when I was I was young. Um, there when they shot the cop and the white band, they shot a cop and he ran up the stairs. I was right there. I seen them shoot that shit like twelve times. Like they just kept Damn. trying, kept trying, kept trying. I was in the heights uptown and I was living up there. That, yeah, I seen them niggas shooting that shit. I was like, yo, 50 Cent making a movie. Nobody believed me. Then, <laughs> a year later, niggas like, oh, 50 Cent making a movie. I saw the white bands with the license plate. I saw all that shit. That's crazy. They really made the movie uptown. It just looks like Queen. Right. So that's that. Right. I think that added to it, like, to me, like, oh, yeah, like, that's the one right there. Yeah, totally. Yeah, nah, Get Rich or Die Trying is great. I don't know. I don't know that I've heard very many people say it's better than Eight Mile. I like. I think I'd agree with that. But like, low key, you, it's like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Eight Mile story is like, yeah, it's a white boy rap and yeah, like, trouble with Trailer Park. But Fifty Cent is like, this nigga got shot. His mom got burnt in the house. He beefing with the Colombians. This is real. This shit I see in my life. I don't. I've never been to the trailer park in my life. Right. I went to Detroit, and niggas nah. like he not from Eight Mile. He from this mile. I'm like, oh man, this nigga lying. I went to uh -oh. Queens <laughs> because it's like Fifty Cent bought Baisley Park. Like he bought his ops hood. Like that shit. You see it in the movies. So it's like I'm a super Fifty fan too. Just like can't, that nigga can't do no wrong. Look at Power and the story Canaan and bro. Like, bros, right. literally, the like, time has showed that that shit's better than eight months. Hey, man, he's yeah, he fucking he fucking has his own universe now. My favorite, my favorite detail in Get Rich or Die Trying is that when he was young and he and, and um, he made the song for Shorty, he was trying to get with Ooh, the it's, best just best, friend. <laughs> it's just best friend. Like, I, I was watching it again. I'm like, is this just why is this just best friend? Like, <laughs> exactly, I like the part where he's trying to make the song, he's like, fire my feet. Fiends all around across yellow tape, homicide in town. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Then they say, Fuck this shit. You gotta go back to trap. <laughs> Yo, that's Yo. probably my favorite movie, bro. <laughs> Damn, that's the one right there. Holy shit. Nah, you're Son, 50, that like, and like. What else? What? Like, I like the soundtrack to that shit too. I be fucking, I was fucking with soundtracks when I was little a little bit too. Cause my brother had all them CDs and shit. Mm -hmm. So I was fucking with Rush Hour you soundtrack. Have any favorites? Rush Hour. Mm. I think it's Rush Hour with the Jay Z Johns. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um the, the, one, the one with uh, Ja Rule on it. Exactly. And the video is like half Rush Hour, half John. That's like one of the best movies too, but mm -hmm. it's like too predictable. Yeah, a little bit, but like you know, like you know, like Rush Hour. I feel like I feel like for people our age and a little younger, it was like Rush Hour was just such a moment, you know. Like I like that was that was like one of the first. That was like one of the first like, I don't. I, I mean, like I guess you call like an adult movie in that way, but like that was one of the first things that I remember watching and feeling like, oh, like this is th this is what this feels like to kind of like be grown you, like, and like, like laugh at some shit. Like that was one of the first. Yeah. Like no childish, no, no, nothing. Like, yeah, I feel you. That's one of them ones. Like that, where it's like, these niggas just fighting karate. I don't understand half the jokes unless Jackie Chan's saying them, I laugh. 
Like it's so like, <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Well, that was that. Yeah, was, but nah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, I don't know, yeah. bro. It's crazy. I'm doing the movie interview. I'll be telling everybody I link. Like niggas that know me know I hate movies, bro. That's why it's fire. <laughs> Have me tapping into the back of my brain with the movies that are actually I think like I fuck with. Right, man. I appreciate. I yeah. That's why. That's that's like half the reason why I even appreciate you coming on. Cause like you know, like this is this is, you know, like this isn't like. I appreciate you like at least digging into the back for me, and I'm sorry if this is like bullshit. But like, <laughs> nah, nah, I like it because it's like, bro, I, I, bro, I talk about this shit so much. I like new movies are ass, so it's like I, I need to let this shit out. And I'm trying to make a movie too. I got enough characters and shit. I always talk about that. I'm trying to make a movie, a chick flick. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make like a, a chick flick gangster movie, like a love story, like. She hold him down. That's all I'm gonna say. I can't give away too much detail. Shorty held it down, right. and it's like my family experiences too. It's like I got like a cousin. I'll give y'all the story. I got a cousin. He went to jail for ten years. He got set up by his wife, and his wife set him up. And then his wife started dating the nigga she set him up with, and then they got caught. So you know what I'm saying? My life is a movie. So it's like I could put this shit into the whole movie real quick, like, and and I speak <laughs> Spanish and shit too. So it's like, bro, I need to get booked into these acting shits. Like, bro, I could be seven different people. I could put my tooth on, take it out, speak Spanish, right. speak English, speak Spanglish. Yeah, I need some roles, bro. They made that movie in the Heights. They, I needed to be in that shit. Oh come on, son, Pop, Popo and fucking in the Heights. I would have actually on, seen the shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know how to get people in seats. Like, I was just watching Mr. Beast. You know who that is? I do, yeah. Mr. Beast is about to make a movie. That shit's going to go up. That's hard. Because, <laughs> bro, he just got the money and the resources and the kids on in, like, in the palm of his hand. So it's like, niggas don't watch TV no more. I was just watching him and Andrew Schultz. Like, niggas don't watch TV no more. Niggas don't watch movies no more. Niggas on YouTube. Like, I watch straight yeah. YouTube. I don't watch nothing else. Yeah, right. that's yeah, that's not the first time I heard that. I know a lot of people who only watch YouTube. That's how I ran into your channel because I just be running. I watch every interview, everything. I'm like, I need to find the new nigga. I, I watched you. Like, I just start clicking your shits. Like, that's that. I'll be moving. I'll be moving through YouTube heavy. What's um? What's some? What's some of your? What's some of your favorite shit to watch on? Uh, what's some of your favorite shit to watch on YouTube? Outside of like YouTube, Mr. Beast and shit like that. With, um, like drink camps and shit like that. I'm just taking like two right. hours to like drink temps. Uh, um, no jumper. I can't lie. I watch Hella No Jumper. That shit's entertaining. I watch mm -hmm. that shit every day. <laughs> I watch. Oh, I watch No Jumper every single day, bro. I can't it's lie. Gotta, I watch it's got it. It's got it. It's got to be somebody good on No Jumper to get me to watch No Not, Jumper. Bro, I like... watch the the <laughs> podcast and shit, like the daily shows. Mm. Cause them shits be like they be. I do like, Cause I be having an opinion too, like. I'd be like, they'd be like, oh, this guy went to jail. He's stupid. I'm like, bro, he's not that stupid. I was like, yeah, he is fucking stupid. Like, Charleston White, the GOAT. I swear to God, the GOAT. <laughs> Charleston White, I watch that nigga so much. Like, it's like, he's just not saying it the right way, but bro, bro, saying all the right things. Like, mm. for real, bro. Charleston White is that, that nigga, for real, for real. It's like, niggas don't want to, nobody ever want to hear this shit he talking about. Like, brother, LA niggas indeed are stupid. It's like, <laughs> like those <laughs> niggas are dumb. Like fuck, I'm checking in for. Like fuck, shut the fuck up. That's why. Yeah, Charleston White. That nigga need a movie too. It's like, oh, bro, shit. he's really helping the community and shit. Nobody see that shit. Niggas just see him talking shit about niggas. Like fuck a crip. Like nigga, this nigga's helping fucking pop Warner football teams and shit. Like y'all niggas ain't doing that shit. Like mm -hmm. that's why. That's why I be on YouTube. I be watching movies. I'm a real life type person. Like. A lot of these movies ain't really showing real life. It was like some fantasy shit. Like, yeah, it's like niggas ain't playing real life, bro. Yeah, I, I feel like you, bro. A movie called Sanky Panky. It's about a guy that chills at resorts trying to bag older white women. And it's mm -hmm. like, that's real life. It's like a 90 Day Fiance movie. Like, that's some real shit. Like, that's a classic. If you speak to any Dominican and mention that movie, you're going to be like, word, Sanky Panky. Because it's like, everybody got an uncle or an aunt that's like at a resort trying to bag a rich person to make it to america or i got an aunt in russia she married a rich russian nigga. 
at a resort. Oh, shit. So it's like, that's a good movie because it's like, look at that's some real life shit. Like shit that's not real. Like, uh, bro, what's that movie with Denzel? He's saving the little kid. That's a good ass movie. Oh, oh, Man on Fire. No, the other one, John Q. Uh, oh, John, Q. yo, yo, oh man, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So sorry. Like, so I, so I gotta tell you something now. I grew up. I grew up around people who did not fuck with John Q. Every time I would talk right. about it, they'd be like, that's like one of like the worst dents. I loved fucking John Q, bro. Like, bro, we oh my kids. God, what a movie. Shouldn't niggas feel some type of way? Like, that shit <laughs> had me in my back. Yeah. Like, bro. I, yeah. <laughs> John Q was a fuck. Like, that was, that. that's such a, ugh, like, God. I'm just like it's thinking about it right like, now. I don't even hear people mention that shit. Like, yeah, nobody remembers it. You know, it's yeah, it's Denzel it's like, is one of the ones. Holy shit! Like Damn. yeah, like he like 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 if he makes a movie, I'ma watch it. He's he's one of those. Like he's gonna be that forever. And it's not until even he because dies. he's black. I hate what people be trying to say is because he's black. It's like nah, bro, bro is really one of the ones just cause. Like he's built different, bro. He always yeah. has been. The fact that he's black is a bonus. Like you know, like Jack, that's what I'm trying to say. Him and Samuel <laughs> Jackson. Like Samuel Jackson is more of a like he's really playing that unk role though. So that's why I fuck with Samuel Jackson too. I fuck with yeah, him. man. And I seen them because they shot Shaft in my building too. The 2000 Shaft. Oh shit! Like I was like they closed the block. They had all the trailers on my block. So like I seen that John B shot too. Like my man's in the movie. Like they threw a football at him in one of them scenes. <laughs> shit, crazy. That's hard, bro. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. That's like, like the yeah. good thing about like coming up in New York and shit. Like you just it's always shooting sign. Like rescue me, some weird ass show. They always. Mm -hmm. shoot. Yeah, that was the um. That's the firefighter show with um. Yeah, that's bro's weird. Name. <laughs> Dennis yeah, Leary. Remember. Dennis Leary. There we go. That's his name. Dude who <laughs> played uh. You ever you ever see Ice Age, the the animated yeah. joints? Bro, I really. But that's another thing. I never saw Cars, Ice Age, none of those movies. Ah oh, shit. Well, long story short, Dennis Leary from Rescue Me was the um he was the saber two tiger on Ice Age. Whoa, that's fucking crazy. What the fuck? Yeah. The like yeah. the last the last animated movie I've seen was Shrek. Oh shit, wow. The first one? Yeah. Like cause yeah, I'm I one mean, of those like, kids that like grew up fast. So I've never thought I was a little kid. Right. So like I was like not into that shit. Like Shrek, like what the fuck? Like SpongeBob movie. I didn't want to watch none of that shit. Man, I was I, I was the I was the kid who I was the kid who just like I, I I'm a I'm a cartoon dude. That's all my shit, you know. Right. Like I I love all that stuff, but like I get it though. I get it, you know. Like not oh, every not everyone. Is... Cartoon. You seen that Goofy movie? Yeah, of course. What are you talking the about? Yeah, of course I <laughs> yeah, bro. The fucking Lolita Tower cheese. Come on now, <laughs> bro. Whenever there was a, a rain day at school and there was no recess, niggas watched that Goofy movie in the auditorium. Oh, mm. damn! And, 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 fire. Bro, bro, every song's a slapper too. They got the Tevin Campbell joints in there. Oh man, <laughs> well, fucking how about um, what's that other joint that used to watch in school, bro? Fuck, not the Goofy movie. Oh, not the Disney Channel movies. You fuck with those? Oh yeah, the yeah Irish yeah, basketball yeah, yeah. movie and shit. And, like, <laughs> what the was Jewish the again? Like Luck of the I Irish, I think was. And oh, luck of the Irish, I think it's that one. And then there was yeah. a Jewish basketball movie where like the lights went out and they lit the candles. <laughs> nah, I never seen that one. That's that's, Yo, that's wild. Just, that sounds wild. That sounds nah, great. I just never seen it. <laughs> and then they, what's the other shit, bro? Disney Channel movies I used to fuck with. Oh, uh, they have like the two girls that switch places, like oh, fucking so uh, um, not the Parent Trap. Nah, um. Oh, my brother bagged Mary Kate for Mary Kate and Ashley. I swear to Jesus Christ. What he the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, bro. Isn't that the parent trap, right? Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> That's Lindsay Lohan in the parent oh, trap. Oh, for real? I bet. Well, fuck it. My brother bagged Mary Kate for Mary Kate and Ashley. It's lit. He used to work at Starbucks, and she was like, you have beautiful eyes. And then he bagged it. Oh, shit. Word, bro. My brother is a legend too. He be hooping with Tay Diggs. You know that nigga? I, of course, I of course I know Tay Diggs. Who doesn't know Tay Diggs? I heard he janky as hell. I heard he's a wild. New York he's he's yeah. a wild boy, son. He's 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 something. <laughs> he's crazy, yeah, so I know. Tay Diggs, though. 
is lit. I can't handle him. <laughs> Have you seen Deliver Us from Eva? Yeah, I, oh yeah, I seen Deliver Us from Eva. That's the, that's the one with um LL Cool J's in that shit too, right? And Queen, yes, Queen Queen Latifah. Yeah, that's my yeah, one. Queen right. Latifah, Gabby, you, yeah, all of them. Yeah, nah, I, yeah. Bro, nah, this I nigga LL Cool J was seeing that spicy rice. That shit looked good as. <laughs> was like, I was like, oh, that shit looked busted, man. Son. <laughs> Cause you see how I only see like like hood classics type shit. Like I don't watch no white movies. It's scary. Right. <laughs> it's just scary, bro. Like now, nah, yeah. I'm trying to. Um, you, 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 you ever you ever see uh you ever see Four Brothers before? I know, I know, I know. That's kind of that off your. Uh, no, I saw that in the movie. Year, like the year you stopped fucking with shit, but like you ever see Four Brothers? Yeah, no, I think that was right before I stopped fucking with movies. Mm-hmm. Well, Brothers is like that That's was a good ass that. movie. I, I oh, was. What's that movie? SWAT. You remember that shit? They had good ass commercials. But I heard the movie was ass. Yo, I saw I saw SWAT with a homie. Like his dad, like his dad took us to see that movie, and I don't remember nothing about it. I don't remember anything about I it. I remember when the commercials was out and shit. We were kids, and everybody wanted to see that movie. Then a week later, it was like this shit trash. Yeah, like I, I don't remember it, so it must have been trashed, you know. Right. Like, you seen Crush Groove? Crush I Groove? seen Crush Groove. Yeah, come on, man. I seen Crush Groove. I remember I showed that shit the subject. Subject didn't know that shit changed his life. I was lost. I uh, Yo, bro, bro, cr- bro, Crush Groove is just damn. I've been meaning to rewatch Crush Groove. It's been a long time. I think they got it on Tubi. All right. See, uh, see, see, see. It's crazy because I don't fuck with Tubi yet, but people, but enough people have been telling huh? me enough crazy shit about Tubi that I might need to be getting right. on Tubi. Tubi like, got all the movies I'm talking about. Like, got all the movies that the ratings might say are bad, but like the people think are good. Right. Like Mortal Kombat movie, the first one. I love that. Shit, hey man. Like, that yeah, that's that classic. Like, like niggas don't that be going, is- bro. Right, bro. That shit is classic. That shit is fucking classic. Um, now I gotta ask you before we move on. You ever see Undercover Brother before? Do you know about Undercover Brother? Yeah, I fuck with what's bro's name in that movie. He's a good one. Ed- Eddie Griffin, right? <laughs> Eddie Griffin. <laughs> Yo, he just got that face. He's looking at that nigga like, oh shit, this nigga crazy. What's the other <laughs> well, it's Orlando something with the um the movie where he eats the shit and he's in this Osmosis Jones. Oh, yeah, oh son. That's one of my favorite movies ever. Like to this day. Like oh nah. Like Yeah, that's yeah. I'll be trying to make lists of my movies. <laughs> <laughs> like and and since you were talking about soundtracks earlier, the Osmosis Jones soundtrack was one of my favorite. Like right. I bought yeah, yeah, like I remember I got the CD or like or, 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 or like my parents got me the CD and just like Cause it had it had like a Saint Lunatic song on it, it had a De La Soul song on it. Um, uh, I think Solange had a song on it. Um, Brandy Brandy had a song because she's in the movie. And uh, nah, that shit was crazy. Good soundtrack. Bro. Good soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have even thought about a soundtrack to most of Yeah, Bye. it's weird. Cause like, cause like near the end, cause like I just watched it again recently. Near the end of the movie. There's like a De La Soul song, and I heard it when I was younger, and I was like, "What is this song?" And like, you know, like De La's music is already hard to find as it is, because mm-hmm. like you what can song only get it, it on like I, it, it was it was some song that they made like for the movie or some shit. Because I, I I could never find it separate. I don't even remember I, what it's called. I was listening to Fifty Cent. He had this song called Fat Fat, and I didn't know that was a De La Soul beat. Oh, like, wait, fat, fat, them Twinkies and got your ass, Fat Fat. And then uh, and the guy, it's like a crazy day last soul song. It's like, it's like from those times. I was most Jones songs, like 2002. Oh, shit. Damn, okay. I, no, I I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Yeah, it's hard. No, I'm not... Let me see if I could. Uh, no, nah, I probably can't get it. Oh, I can't get on the phone. Yeah, but that's. <laughs> uh, you never heard uh, Fat Fat by G Unit? I don't think so. Oh, I man, think I missed yeah. it. I'm a heavy G Unit. And I fuck with G Unit too, so I don't think, yeah, you know, there's, 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 there's some shit I missed, you know, but yeah. trip. This is my niggas I'll... right here. Oh, you can hear this? Where's your microphone? I think. At? Uh, yeah, I can hear it. I think, right? With some fat chicks. 
I hope you fuck with some fat bitches. That's yeah, yo. <laughs> I ain't fucking with you anyway. Yeah, that's that joint right there. But yeah, that's that's they fine. Soul, they my soul DM, my nigga. DM, DM me that later. I want to hear that. Got you. Look, talking about day my soul, nigga. I got that shit right here. Balloon mind state. It's my favorite. Hey, right there. Damn, bro. I love oh. <laughs> what, what, a, what, a, what a what a what a good ass album, bro. Like good, yeah, balloon mind state. It's just that's I fuck with day my soul heavy. Fucking. Those my niggas, bro. For real, for real. Like this is fucked up. How them niggas get done? All I think the time, they they fixing shit. What happened? I think they fixing their problems and shit with like Tommy Boy. And they, they yeah, that, that, no that, that, old album. That's what they keep saying, and they keep on saying they're gonna put them up on streaming. And it, ha- it was supposed to happen like last November. Hasn't happened yet. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm waiting on it, bro. Like I'm I'm ready. You know, like I got um. I got fucking I got three feet high on vinyl somewhere in the corner over here. Right. I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm I'm not about to go dig for it, but like you can't hear that shit unless you like get the unless you like got the tape or the mm-hmm. CD or like you go on YouTube. Like that's the only kind of like the firm hear. album. Like, that shit's not on stream. Kind of like the firm album. Yeah, that's a good point. That shit gets me tight, and I love that album. Like I could tell that's Dr. Dre. The niggas failed. Then they get fucking wants that shit off the internet like a hoe. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. If Dre wants something gone, it's gonna be gone. Like that's right. just that's just how he is. Like, right. damn. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, but yeah. Now that we're here, now I gotta ask when when did when did music first kind of come into your life like this? Because I know I know you're like a head. You're like a nut with the shit. Like honestly, bro. Like two thousand, not bro. Like low key my whole life. But it was some Spanish music shit. But then I start rapping like I don't even remember, bro. It's like I start rapping when I was little, bro. Get smack silly. It was like get smack silly. Doom, doom, G that P day. That's like oh one. Like I was mm. replacing their words in my own words. Then I started recording in like twenty twelve. Yeah, my my block was always a musical block and shit. I grew up uptown. Then I moved to Jersey. So like right. there's like mad producers and shit that's in the industry, little rappers and shit. Even these little A and Rs I've been talking to now, they all lived on my block. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Small so world like, and shit. I've been on music shit my whole life, low key, like buying mixtapes, trying to rap and shit. But shit just start working now, low key. Right. So like, okay, so I didn't realize. So like, were you? So so you were so you, so you, all right. Sorry, you were born in the city and you moved to Jersey for high school. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you came. Uh, okay. So you came when you were like a teenager. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. um, where? So where? So where in New York um you grew up? One six first and four Wash Wash the Heights. Oh sh- shit. Okay. 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 Or okay. Uptown, straight uptown, baby. Yeah, way uptown. Like <laughs> exactly. So um. Like, yeah, so like when um uh oh wait sorry you were about to say, you you were gonna say something? No, 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 go ahead, do your thing. Um so so why did y'all why did y'all move to Jersey? Why did you move to Jersey? Uh basically like gentrification. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, shit, like, all right. shit, we had a big ass apartment. So it was four bedroom in New York. They was like, nah, we need this shit to be five bands. We, you know, we had welfare and shit. Sexually, right. all that. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that. It's good. Let's go to Jersey, nigga. When they go to Jersey, go pay cheap rent over there. They don't need <laughs> <it in New. laughs> so basically uh-huh. that. So I left. And my block is like a fucking white block now. When was the last time you went back? I was over there like a few weeks ago. I was just mm-hmm. walking around. And it's crazy. I had like a, a, I don't call them fans, but I had like a supporter on my block. I'm like, this nigga never leaves like one of the gentrifiers. And it's like, I was walking around. This nigga calls me out the window. I'm like, who the fuck sees me? And he's like, yo, it's me from Instagram. I'm like, what the fuck? That was weird. <laughs> That's the weirdest shit. I was like, this is weird. What the fuck? What are you living on my block for, nigga? Yeah, that was cool, though. Right. Yeah, shit like that's always cool. You know, like it's it's just like, you know, you know like people that people that like really support your shit and like 
that you can trust to a certain extent. You know? I, bro, I've talked to anybody who fucks them. I'm, I'm not a lot. I DM all my supporters. I don't call them fans. All my supporters, <laughs> I talk to them. I'll be like, what's good? I might FaceTime them on the random and shit. Like, That's hard. You fuck with me, I fuck with you. It's not just like music type shit. Like, it's life. Right. It's just, yeah, no, like, that's like, and you're like, I could tell, I could tell that, I could tell that when I met you in person at the, um, at the Chris Crack show, you know, like not even, not even just based on how we interacted, but just like, just seeing you talk to people. Like, yeah, you just like, hit I people. feel like shit yeah. after a show when I don't talk to everybody that's like trying to come up to me. Like, I know you're not, I'm not even not supposed to, but it's like, some people be trying to be too cool. I don't really like that too cool for school shit. Like, I yeah, hate man. that. Cause like. It's like even people I work with in New York, like I'll see producers, everybody's sleeping on or nobody wants to bring them around. I'm like, nigga, come work with me. Fuck all these other niggas with names and shit. Like, cause everybody just be wanting to build off each other because they got names and shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. If you hard, you hard. Like, you right. Get seven year old, you loop that beat, nigga. If it's ready, we out. I don't care what, like, yeah, I don't care what you into, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck. If you fuck niggas over in the past. Fuck, you're not fucking me over. I ain't giving it up like that. Like, <laughs> so it's like everybody's different. Like I said on the song, it's like niggas will tell you they got robbed, but won't retaliate. Like they'll tell you I got robbed, but nigga, go retaliate. Don't fucking tell me. Like I'll be working with people where it's like, oh, he's a piece of shit. He treats me like I'm he don't treat me like a piece of shit. So it's like I don't count nobody out type shit. Like because niggas ain't treating me like they treating these other niggas because I don't carry myself like that. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not the super tough guy or nothing, but like I'm not carrying myself in a way where it's like you're gonna bitch me or you're gonna play me out for some fool or something. Cause the shit ain't like that. Right. I'm just here to rap just because I rap. Like after that, I'm a regular human. Fuck all that. Like, like these niggas be getting into little weird rap shit where it's like they only want to be friends because of rap. Like, I don't even make music with niggas. Like, unless I fuck with you heavy, like wiki. Yeah. Like, like I don't really be trying to make a oh, YL too, because like we became friends. Like I'm really trying to like work with strangers and shit. Right, that shit matters, you know. Like relationships and like you can like feel it in the music. Like you it's can feel it when y'all are like when y'all like, like linked and connected. We get in the room, we talk, and like I'm not the type of nigga that's gonna come with bars written. We're gonna talk, and whatever we talk about is gonna be in the song. Like. We talking about certain Jordans. We talk about a move. We talking about certain girls. She's gonna be in the song. Like, it's not just like I don't know. I will be hearing rap and shit. A lot of people just be talking about like, oh, I'm, I'm going through pains and like, oh, I'm depressed. Like, bro, what are y'all depressed about? <laughs> like, it's not even funny. I know everybody got little mental health issues and shit, but it's like y'all all depressed the same way. Y'all all going through the same mode. Like, niggas ain't really writers, bro. Like, I'm not the best nigga in the world, bro. But like. I be listening to a lot of people's music and say, damn, y'all all just want to be Earl? Like, let Earl rock. Like, it'd be weird, bro. Yeah, you know, I, I, I just, I just, I just feel like, you know, like people, people just, people just kind of go about their lives in the way they go about their lives. And everyone just right. kind of, everyone, everyone, everyone just kind of holds it down however thing. they need to. Like, like be you that's my whole thing it's like you got your yeah. own little like your, bro your lane is so dope because like you are you interviewing rappers and you ask them about movies and da 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 it's like you got your you being you like you probably love movies you love rap nigga let's bring this shit together you being you right that's my whole thing other than 2004 i'm bu entertainment it's like niggas don't be trying to be themselves like bro i say swish a million times if you don't like it i don't <laughs> care i'm being myself like right I say one a million times like I don't feel like people are genuinely being themselves. Like right now, 2022. It's like that's why people are fucking with me though. So it's like I'm trying to give them game so people can fuck with them too. Cause it's like I like people see this shit going on. It's like, oh yeah, you got a drill beat with a sample, and no, oh, you got a loop and you rapping. Like, but rap about something that means something, or like rap about your life. Like, I ain't even one of them niggas talking about, like, shit that means shit, but, like, I'm rapping about my life. Like, nigga, I got these Jordans. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got these Margellas, same color as plum. They come in my room, the Margellas, same color as a plum. Like, it's not like, <laughs> oh, like, these niggas be, like, acting like they're so pro this, pro that, but then you chill with them. They're, like, the opposite of that shit. It's like, they call the niggas Fs and this and that. It's like, bro, come on, you over here talking about you woke and you doing this for the people, but you a piece of shit when I meet you in person. You ain't really a woke nigga. Right. 
don't act woke if you ain't woke. Like that's just right. fake perpetrator. I hate perpetrators. Like these niggas Same, be trying bro. to talk all this educated. I'm doing it for this, for that, but niggas don't be this and that. Like I ain't the wokest nigga, but I've done I got mad knowledge, bro. Like niggas can't fuck with me with this knowledge shit. That's why I fuck with certain niggas. Fuck with old heads. I'm older than a lot of these niggas. Niggas don't be having no knowledge. They think because they read books, they got knowledge. You got to be in these streets talking to these people, mm -hmm. these old heads. Like, I talk yeah, to crackheads. Man. You know me? I'm in the streets talking to crackheads, giving them niggas cigarettes. I ain't talking to, like, niggas on Twitter. That's why I don't have Twitter, because niggas just be talking bullshit on Twitter. Like, oh, what I'm saying matters. Like, man, you don't even know what you're talking about, bro. You grew up not around, not in the environment. So it's like, you can't, like, Talk about certain things if you ain't from that shit. Yeah, I'm. I'm get mad when I talk about this shit, bro. I get, <laughs> I I get passionate with this shit. Yeah, yeah bro, nah, it's, it's 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 just it's just it's just good to be yourself, like you said, and just like I yeah. feel, uh, you know, like you you know, like people, you know, like people get influenced, and that's always really cool to see, like influence kind of like move around and shit. But to me. To me, I think that I think there's like plenty, like I think there's enough people out here moving unique and different with whatever influences there are. Like you know, like like you, you know, like you're someone. You know, like I could tell you said this. You said this in an interview with my man Alphonse, who works with me over at Pitchfork. Shout out to Alphonse. Fuck it. Um, Thank you know, like I could tell. Awesome. Yeah, what happened? That's his trust, bro. Yeah, for real. Um, yeah, like you mentioned, you mentioned that you're like a like you were like obsessed with hot 97 back in the day yeah. and like i could tell just j j just like based off of like the type of shit that you talk about and like the the type of music you gravitate towards like i could tell you fucked with hot 97 like heavy and you just kind of have that like your voice just has that quality to it like it's just like <laughs> it's just kind of like it's not even like it's not even like gruff it's just like you just you just got like a baritone that just like punches through shit you know like it makes it makes it makes everything sound a certain way and like i know like you know like there's 50 in there like i can you know you're like you're telling me about how much you love 50 and i can feel that in there but like you're not like a biter you know like it's that's what i'm trying to say it's like you could be inspired by somebody but it's like i'm inspired by little uzi i don't sound like that nigga i look by little uzi probably my favorite artist in the world bro he's hard bro i fuck with uzi like I'm inspired by him, but I'm not trying to sound like him. Like, bro, I think Uzi and Playboy Cardi are dead ass, like the greats, like goats. But they're incredible. Like, like <laughs> even Kendrick Lamar, I think he's the goat. But like, I could never rap like that guy, even if I try. Like, he'd be like, I can't even talk that fast. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But it's like people be trying to like. I seen this whole shift in this world right now. It's like Griselda. -y, Earl Sweatshirty, that's why I rock with them niggas. Cause it's like you got everybody trying to be you. That makes you a goat. Like right. Like, I agree. Playboy Cardi is a yeet right now. He's turning into a goat. Everybody's rapping in his beats. I'm I won't say I listen to Yeet, but me seeing everybody trying to make Yeet music is making me want to listen to Yeet rather than the copycats. Or right. Like, even Earl, I wasn't always listening to Earl, but once I see a lot of niggas making similar music to him, I'm like, let me go see this nigga. Niggas are fucking biting him OD. Let me go check the source. Like, I'm more about trying to find the source type shit. Right. You know, I was, I was, it's actually crazy you bring that up. I was talking to somebody, uh, I'm not going to say who because the interview is not going to be out for a little bit, but I was talking to somebody and um, uh, um, we, we we got, we got on the, or or I'll tell you after we get off. I'll tell you after we're done recording. Right. But um, uh, we were talking about future and I mentioned uh i mentioned something about future and we started talking about how he's kind of like i mean like you can like tell who his influences are like like he came up with the dungeon family so like mm -hmm. you can tell what his influences are but like he's like he's so singular bro like there's like he's like like future has a lot of sons like especially right now like he's at that point where you can like go back and look at his career and like start pinpointing who's like this person's future. This person's, you know, you can you can you can see it. You can like chart the path type shit. That's so another like one right there. Future Chief Keith. I was never a Chief Keith fan, but once I saw what the world turned into, I'm like, shit, I love this nigga. And it's Bro. like I'm more inspired by shit like that. Like when I see people trying to be like somebody, that shit inspires me. It's like, damn, I gotta get like that nigga. I want people to be like me. 
I don't want to be mm-hmm. like them. I want people to be like me type shit. Like, I feel I don't you. Know. Like I said, I even said that shit in a recent song. I used to want to be Hove. Now fuck that nigga type shit. Like I want to be myself. Like <laughs> fuck that. Like that nigga Hove ain't even doing. I ain't don't even do shit. I agree with hundred percent. Right. I feel you there too. <laughs> it's like I don't. Yeah, you don't know what niggas do when doors is closed, so you can't really talk yeah, to about it. But inspiration, yeah. anything could be inspiration. Oh yeah, absolutely. And like for you, so now I gotta ask for you. What so like when did you know that you wanted to go from just like consuming rap to like making it? Like when was it like all right, it's time for me to make this shit now? After I saw our future at ASAP and them niggas, not because I liked it, but I was just like I could do this better. Mm-hmm. Like I look cooler than them, I rap better than them. I like I'm from these places more than them because that shit matters to me too. Like you got to be from these environments too. Like. ASAP Ferry, shout out to bro. Me and him know a lot of the same people. We grew up in the same environments. A lot of those yeah. other people, like, I don't really like, I don't see it or smell it in them. Like, rap is about a certain type of thing from a certain type of environment. Like, hip hop, as, as they say. So it's like, if you ain't from that kind of environment, you actually got to be paying homage or doing something to come to that environment and contribute. Not really like, that's why Cardi B is so big. She's from the right. fucking Bronx. Like, yeah, so Ice Spice is so big. He's from the fucking Bronx, like French for Japan, real, from the Bronx. Like, yeah, the home of rap. Yeah. At the end of the day, Brook Bronx drill. That's why it's going so crazy. It's the fucking home of rap. That's the environment that matters. You can have a rapper from Mississippi, but yeah, we're New Yorkers. Nobody cares. We're dickheads. Blah blah blah. But bro, this shit's from New York, bro. You're from Mississippi. Go make country. Mm-hmm. I know you're inspired. Uh-huh. Inspiration is a lot, but make country rap tunes like Big Crit or Haystack. Like that's why I fuck with the West Coast. They make G funk. It's like they like funky music. They don't even make rap. They make funky rap, like funky hip hop, whatever. G funk. Yeah, you know, and, and 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 like and like and like every you know like every area every area of like the states especially has like their own specific brand. But I won't even front. I do. I do love it when people when people like mix and match and experiment because like you know like because you're like through the, like that way that way stuff. You know, like new stuff kind of comes from that as That's well. The like better way to collab. Like, yeah, there's a song out there is the Migos and Mac Miller produced by Alchemist. It's like what? that's a collab. Like the Migos came to see Mac Miller. Obviously, Alchemist was there and they rapped on his beat. Like we don't need another fucking Murder Beats produced Migos song. Like, nah, right. go out your comfort zone. Like, go do that. Like, go work you with know, these. Things. They sound good. Oh yeah. You remember, um, so there was, I think it, it's, it's might've been like two years ago, but, um, Alchemist made a song with Boldy James, Kasha Kwan and TJX6. I heard about like, that. Uh, that shit, out? like, it, oh yeah, it came out. It, it's oh, on word? SoundCloud somewhere. It's, it's tight. I'll send it to you later. But like, it's, it's like, yeah, you know, like seeing that. stuff like, like, I love when stuff like that happens. Like the shit that you would never dream That's in awesome. a million years. And like, people be thinking like. Like I went to Detroit. I was in Detroit fucking with everybody out there and niggas will think like, oh, people don't listen to this kind of music because they make this kind of music. Like all the niggas with purple hair that make little oozy music, I chill with them and they all listen to West Side Gun. So it's like niggas listen to other kind of music so you can't be thrown off by that shit. People will literally be thrown off like, oh, nobody listens to that kind of music. I don't want to make that kind of music. I was guilty of that shit. I always was on some rap rap shit, but I wanted the bitches to listen to my music. Little did I know the bitches was listening to this rap rap shit. Son, they, wasn't, they don't they, really like that yeet shit. <laughs> bitches it, like it, fucking it, rap. That's that's, that's facts, man. <laughs> that's There's like facts. I used to do shows back in the day before I started having bars in my music. I always had bars, but it's like the, the, the sound of the music is like I used to make like more like trap music, trap beats, not trap music, but mm. The sound girls like, bro, they're doing their makeup and their nails, but they listen to some soulful shit. These bitches love uh, Steve Lacey. I'm trying to make a song hey, with man. that nigga, you feel me? Like, Come on, son. These bitches love Brent. I'm trying to make a song with that nigga. I don't go fuck about these rappers, man. I listen to R&B. Brent be around, too. That's the thing. Like, Brent, Brent be around. How's the Brent? Like... It's a good guy. <laughs> Dope guy right there. He actually makes hard music. 
Like that, yeah, like yeah. he could have took the easy route. He could have just threw 808 to the beat and like, all right, I'm gonna sing like Drake. Ah, nigga, let's fucking make some real tunes, bro. That's why he knows like, like there's identity. And like the song that the song that he made with Drake too, it went kind of stupid, like more than I expected it to. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. It was like but Neptune's I like the song right? they made. Like, yeah, the Neptune yeah, no, song. That shit was beautiful. That shit was beautiful. Uh, yeah. That's what uh, that that bag. I like that bag, like that that rent bag. Cause like you see, nobody's in that bag as him. There's this one guy, Giveon, try to jump in his bag, and it's like, yeah, it's cool, but we see what you're trying to do, bro. Like mm -hmm. that's why Frank Ocean was so hard too, cause nobody making music like them niggas. Yeah, man. That's yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's another inspiration to me, cause nobody's like, I'm. Like, I don't care. I don't even think I'm the best, but nobody's making shit that sound like me, and I'm happy with that. Like, I'm super and see, happy. That. That's why I fuck with your shit, bro. Cause like, cause like you, like I, like I've really been trying to think over the course of the last couple of days, like how would I describe pop's music to somebody? It's just like you, you know, like you're like right in this intersection of like some of your stuff is like kind of drillish, kind of like Jersey clubbish. Like you pull from so many different places and you work with so many different people. Like subject, of course, being like the one that most people know, but just like you you pull from so many different places and you're like, and you're like, you go and look at like, like I was listening to some of your early shit earlier today, like fucking like Ballaholic and like the doom tape, like just like those, like those two projects, especially like to see like the range that you have on the doom project in particular is just like, I was like, all right, like, so you've been on, cause like, right. You know, like, and it's like, I guess, like, you know, like, I guess I'm just curious, like, when you put a project together, like, what's it like for you to just, like, pick out the different shit you want to rap on? Is it like a, oh, I'm feeling like this while I'm in the studio type shit? Or, like, do you go in thinking, like, I want this kind of song, this kind of song, this kind of song? Like, how do you put your projects together? Uh, I don't even, uh, what do you think? How does this happen? We just be making songs, really. That's bro, I'm making hella music. I'm not gonna lie, like, bro, like how the Little Wayne. I hate that nigga. But when I seen he was making hella music, I was like, I gotta make more music than bro. Like, Little Wayne makes hella music, bro. Like, and it's not even like it don't have to be like top quality or whatever. Like, bro, it's like an exercise. It's like me making a song. It might not drop, but it's like me exercising my voice, my vocals, my lyrics. Shit, it might drop, but like. Just gotta keep working. I just keep working, like always keep working. Keep recording. I, I'm, I record myself, I just give subject to stems. So it's like right. he'll leave, he'll send beats, I'll have shit written, or sometimes I just sit in front of the mic and ramble. Like punch in, punch in, punch in. The same shit as writing, just writing on the spot. Oh yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. no, nah, yeah, yeah, not nah, punch it. Pu that's the thing. I'm happy you brought that up. Punching in is I feel like punching is underappreciated as like a form of recording. You know, like that's like, it, uh, like, like, like I love the way you put that. Like, it's writing. It's just writing on the spot. You it's know, like it's, spot, it's, I'll pause yeah. it. I'll fucking I'll roll a whole blunt before I do the next line. But while I'm rolling that blunt <laughs> shit, I'll be about to twist. I'll be oh, I just got the line. Put that shit down. No, right back to rolling the blunt. And that's why. Right. I, you know, I'll be sitting on the toilet with the computer and the mic and everything. Like, I just really just be locking in. No lie. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna ask how you record. So like you record like at home with like a setup and like a laptop I got a or shit. Laptop at home, subject mixes everything. Simple. Yeah, the nigga is wow. simpler than people may think. Everybody thinks you gotta do a whole bunch of shit. I seen Lil Wayne's little Carter documentary. He was recording on the bus. I was like, shit, niggas don't need no yeah. studio. The me right, bro. Shit. Yeah, no, that's facts. Like, you know, like um, 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 you um, you brought up Steve Lacey earlier. He rec um, what's it called? That nigga recorded a lot of his early shit on his iPhone. You know, that's like with no fun. studio. That's what made like, me fuck with him. I swear. When I seen right. that, I was like, oh shit, this nigga's on another level. I was with my girl at the time. I didn't even have a phone. I was like, give me your phone. I downloaded GarageBand right away. I was trying to make beat. That's hard. <laughs> and um, what saying, like, what's it called? Madlib too. Madlib makes most of his beats on an iPad. My my like, nerdy <laughs> friends was hating though. My nerdy friends was hating. They was hating. They they. But what I said was like, y'all niggas started hating once y'all found out he made them on the iPad. Before that, y'all was loving this shit. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> yeah, like 
I hate when people do shit like that. Like they just gonna change their mind on the spot or just because of a little detail. Like, bro, I don't mean it's not hard. Yeah, so, man. Like the music. Yeah, like the music is still good. Yeah, like it doesn't matter where it comes from. You know, like you know, like you, you know, like obviously, like you can like change your mind if you find things out. But like, just like something so like, who cares on what? Who cares what the shit was made on? Like, you know, like, does it have to be made on an SP to be hard? Like, it's does like it have one to be time made this producer loops? hit like, me up. This producer hit me up like. Yo, let's cook up. I was living in Brooklyn. I had a little apartment. I was like, bet, pull up. He was like, you got a record player? I was like, nah, that nigga never hit me back. I was like, bro, fuck you. you dusty All ass. Right. Like, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck about a fucking record player, nigga? It's called YouTube to MP3.com, nigga. Come on, like, son. <laughs> we, we, we've, been, we've, been, we've been living off that shit since 2006, bro. But okay. that's the whole thing about me being 2004. Like, niggas be trying to rep this whole 90s shit. They never even fucked the bitch in the 90s. Like, what you so 90s for? Like, you was born at the end of the 90s. Like, <laughs> what you so 90s for, bro? That's why I'm 2004. Like, West Side, hey, none man. of them they have every right to be 90s. They were selling crack in 98 and 97. And, like, they're right. my brother's team, so I know what them niggas grew up off. So it's like, I didn't grow up off that. I grew up off Beanie Seagull and shit like that. Like, I love 90s rap. Don't get me wrong. I have that lot so right here. But, like, I can't go into an argument with you about Tribe Called Quest versus Big E versus Wu-Tang. That shit, I don't know about that shit, but if you want to argue Lil Uzi versus anybody else, I could go all day with you. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, if, even, if, even if you wanted to go in something, you know, like G-Unit versus, like, G-Unit versus Rockefeller, Dipset, all that shit, you know? Like, yeah, like, that, that's like that's our era, you know? And another like, rough, crazy take that I have is that J. Cole and them niggas are better than most of the 90s rappers. Oh like shit! Jay Cole, Drake, and Kendrick are better than most '90s rappers, mm. for sure. Like for Explain. sure. It, like, bro, the, the niggas that in the '90s weren't just... that good. Bro. They weren't that good, bro. Like, I'm sorry, they were not that good. <laughs> like, there were certain niggas that was good, but a lot of niggas in the '90s, like even Benny and Griselda, they're better than most '90s rappers. Like, that's bro. Them niggas in the 90s, they only had one album, two albums. Griselda got 30,000 tapes, and they all fire. <laughs> like, Drake got hella albums. They all fire. J. Cole, niggas might not agree. I don't even agree all the way, but shit, his shit better than a lot of 90s niggas shit. Kendrick, forget about it. Like, See, see, I, see I get you in the sense that, like, we we canonize and lionize all like the icons of 90s rap because like don't get me wrong like there's like so many good 90s rappers but like there's also a lot of really bad ones you know like 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 that's more bad you know like (laughs) like that's fact like there's like there's obviously a lot of like incredible like you know, like the work is incredible. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a historian at this shit. You're a historian at this shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like there's like incredible work and like they laid the foundation in a lot of ways, but the whole point is that like, we're supposed to take that foundation and run with it and turn it into something different. And that, to the extent that people, to the extent that people are doing that, I agree with you. So it's like, you know, a nigga like Drake, <laughs> Drake has heard it all. Drake heard every Wu-Tang album, every Jay-Z album. Every every album, Drake is a nerd. I don't even have to know him to see that he's a nerd. Oh, totally. Tim Cole is a nerd. Kendrick is a nerd. Them niggas know everything. That's why they're doing mm-hmm. it at the level they're doing it because they they know what came before them. Like, bro, that's why they're. To me, I think even right now to this day, like Mac Hami, Westside Gun, them niggas are better than a lot of nineties. I'm not saying they're better than Ghostface or Raekwon or nothing, but they're better than the rest. They're better than a lot of like. Niggas that put out duds in the nineties, like what? Oh yeah, sure. You know, because like you yeah, can really I say feel that like I'm better than a lot of niggas in the nineties, and I don't even want to sound can... like that. But it's like a lot of niggas are some hoorah hoorah shit. Because you know, like, because like j- just to just to play devil's advocate for a second, like you know, like like I said before, like the icons are the icons, and people are like really the like, uh, icons are the people are really stuck on that. You know, but like, I definitely agree to the extent that like, we try to act like there wasn't garbage music in the '90s because there absolutely was. There was garbage music. In, there was garbage music in every era. You know, like it really, it really just depends because because like the crazy thing is like you'll probably see somebody who's like a decade younger than you and me, 
saying the same shit about the 2000s. Like, oh, there was like all sorts of garbage music in the 2000s. Because, you know, like there was garbage music in the Definitely. 2000s. But like, it, it's, it's a, uh, but like, I definitely see what you're saying in terms of like, you know, like people like Cole and Drake and Kendrick, whether or not that, I mean, like, I'm not really a Cole fan, like at, at all, unless he's on somebody else's song, his features always go crazier than his regular songs. That's just my opinion. That's my hot take. But, um, <laughs> but, um, you know, like they're at least trying to build on that foundation. They're trying to build on the foundation of that that was established in the night. That's like the class of 2011 you know? rap, like currency, Wiz Khalifa, Big Sean, oh, yeah. Drake. All those guys, that little class, I think is like low key might be better than the 90s class, bro. Like, I swear, other than Jay Z and like Nas and Biggie and Tupac, like that's just strong. That's strong right there, though. That's what makes it so powerful. But other than yeah, them, bro, it's like a lot of duds in the 90s, bro. Like, and it's like Drake and Kendrick and J. Cole. Like critically acclaimed, the people they have three albums, both of them, all three of them, they have three albums. Like yeah. that, it's like, un like good music. Nine out of ten, all three of them got three albums. I don't even Man. like the code like that, but like for niggas from the nineties to have three albums, holy smokes! That's why academics be saying what he's saying because he low key know what he's talking about, but he just oh, don't know how man. to word his shit. He's don't know he, how to he word just, it. He he he's yeah. It, it's oh man. I, I I've been I've been I've been I've been I've been thinking on that whole shit he said too. I just like it's just like he's scared. I love Cool J was like nigga say something. Yeah. <laughs> like, nigga say yeah, something about me. I ain't dusty or old. I'll fuck your mom yeah. and your girl, nigga. Yeah, not yeah, and yeah, not and not even just that. Like it's because like he was talking about the money shit, and it's just like you know, like it's just like you know, like if you don't have money, you don't mean anything. It's kind of like That's something the insinuation is like I can't uh I can't get down with that. With that little yeah. shit, said, I could never get down. I don't give a fuck about money, honestly. It's yeah, like, cause that's why people were so upset about what academics said because he was tying it so close to the money, yeah. and it's like, who cares? Like nobody, you, 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 you know, like that shit doesn't matter, you know. And like, more once about it, the work. yeah, you know, it's about the work and it's about the legacy, which is why all of them old, which what was why all them old, um, um, um what while the old heads were so upset about it because like they. You know, like regardless of how you feel about the music, like they laid the standard. You know, like they laid the foundation that we stand on. We're on everyone's shoulders. Like that's exactly. like that's why like eighties like, rap. Honestly, like the eighties niggas better than the nineties. Like that's like, okay. Him and shit, like bro, that's really god level rap. Like yeah, the niggas in the nineties wasn't rapping like that. Like <laughs> holy shit, Rock Him and like uh, uh, EPMD. That's super cool. But like Slick Rick and shit, like. Yeah, I fuck with eighties rap. I think more than nineties. I don't like nineties rap too much. Like oh, it's man. like I, I don't know. It's like mad. Like it's kind of like just like phases. Kind of like what's going on like a few years ago. Like the perk rap nineties rap right. was like, yeah, real rough and rugged onyx and shit. Like yeah, I can't get yeah. to it. I can't get. I that's it. I can't front, bro. I love the shit, but I get it. I get. I love it, you MOP. Know, like, I love something from the nineties. The shit I love the most is MOP. MLP is great. Like, MLP is great. Yeah. Yeah, so, nah, man. I, I was I was I was all about the fucking I'm trying to think of people now, like fucking like Black Moon and goddamn fucking like Smith and Wesson and like all like I, like like, I love that shit, bro. I love that shit. Like Wu Tang, like fucking like fu fucking like right right before um right before and during that first wave of the solo projects. Like I love all that shit. I can't I even fuck with it. Um, from the nineties, I like Tribe. I, like, I love Tribe, bro. Um, My favorite group of all time, OP, probably. Obviously, Biggie and um. After I got older in life, Tupac is the goat. Pac's that's incredible. You know, that's like, why he's, I'm he's... Like, yeah, but other than that, bro, I fuck with Bay Area music right now. Like, hey, good and like shit like that. Like the Bay Area is great, down. man. They put it down like Sibo, Ma, even Mozzie. Not from the Bay from Sacramento, but like. All mm -hmm. those guys, like, they're, like, comparable to New York. Like, for real, for real. Like, people don't even know. The niggas be having 40. Even Burner, the owner of Cookies, bro, he got, like, 40 albums. Like, people might not take him serious, bro, but if you really listen to Burner, bro, he got some shit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Those last couple albums he dropped are nuts. Like, he's, like, people, people, people don't put enough respect on his name. Even, even after, even after he had that, um, 
even after he had that, what was that, a cancer scare? Not too yeah, long ago, yeah. like he, he's you know, he's the yeah, burner even made a Spanish album. I fuck with bro, yeah, man. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, you know, I need some weed, burner, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Between him and between him and fucking like E40 and shit, like people don't like respect E40 the way they should, like, bro. I, so I, was, I was, I was, I was, I was fucking ghost riding the whip when that shit came out in high school. Like, like I say, Jesus Christ had dread, so shake him, shake him. Come on, man, I'm growing some. Oh, yeah. God, like E40 I was on that E40 like, album. Um, when he got it's like a Rolex on the cover. Is that the one where he's uh, the, that's the one where he's in the, the he's in the jumpsuit, like yeah. the navy blue jumpsuit? And yeah, like, that's my ghetto report card. That's my ghetto report card. Our, that our, was our, our. yeah, bro. That, that yeah, like yeah, yeah, like that came out when I was in high school. Like that's when I learned who E40 was, our, you know, and like I was like, our, this yeah, is, I didn't know E40 <laughs> was around in the 90s. Then I saw yeah. the Tupac was that I found. E40 and back in the days, it was like Tupac's man. Mm -hmm. Word, bro, bro. Yeah. Like Bay Area music, bro. That shit been like, I've been on that shit for like two, three years already. Like, it's like the way them niggas rap is like, it's not like, it's like, I don't know, bro. It's like stuck in time type shit, but it's so good. And the, all this yeah. independent shit we're doing now, them niggas been pre preaching that shit. Like, people like to yeah. say it's the South, but bro, Master P went to the Bay Area. And uh -huh. that independent shit. So, like, what you mean? Like, all the niggas in the Bay of Richmond, all that shit. Even little B to a certain extent. I don't really like all the way with bro, but like, yeah, bro, them Bay Area niggas know how to do this shit. All this shit we're doing now, independent CDs, vinyl, blah blah blah. Them Bay Area niggas, they've been on that vibe. So it's like, yeah, I'm studying them, like what they was doing, like Mac Mon, fucking, uh, keep the sneak, fucking. All these oh, kick the sneak, damn, that's a name I haven't heard Chris forever. Allen, fucking, all these people, cause it's like, bro, that shit is so more important than a lot of shit in like in Texas rap, like Texas Bay Area rap is like Philly bro. rap. It's like so really? like, you don't even need to leave the state type shit, like for real, like you know, like I was just talking to somebody about DJ Screw and like everything that Screw did, like Screw tapes. He would have people around, like he would have people waiting around the corner to buy bootlegs. Bro, bro. I went to the store. Like, yeah, I went to the store like in 2018. That shit was cool. I can't even imagine. Where is the store? In Houston. In Houston, okay. Yeah, yeah. duh. Of course, it's in Houston. But um, yeah, yeah uh, like, good. yo, just just like, you know, like you're so right about all of that. <laughs> just like, just like the way, just like the way that shit manifested and just like. The way it spreads, you know, like I obviously can't chart the history of everything, but just like there's a uh, that's like that's one of the things I love so much about this rap shit. The way it all like like, you know, like that's where like, you know, like it gets to the point where you can really just like you said, stay in state and just listen to like you, you, like you be fed like forever. But it's really beautiful to see the way that those things kind of like mutate. When they cross state borders, sure, yeah. you know, like I it, found and, and, and in like 2012, he made a mixtape, um, Freeway, and it was like, did? oh shit, the jacket of Freeway. Who the fuck is nigga jacket? He's from the Bay. Oh, Boom, I found the them, and it's like all these rappers is like influenced by the jacket. Everybody, all this lean shit, all this backwoods shit. The, the jacket was doing that shit in 03. Like, yeah, man. Mac Dre was smoking woods in 03. There was. Mm. Like Mac Dre is like, holy shit. Like, I was fucking with these yeah. Asian bitches out west. It was like, you don't fuck with Mac Dre? I'm like, no. Oh man, ever since then, I fuck with bro. Yeah, same Mac shit Dre is. Boosie. Same shit as Boosie. It took me leaving the state to fuck, really fuck with Boosie. I, used, I was laughing. Uh, we was chilling with some girls in Texas. I was like, oh, y'all don't like little Boosie? It was like, hell no. Nigga, this bitch played three hours of Boosie. I swear to God, now Boosie in my top 10. Boosie, like, Boosie has. It's yeah, it's just like sometimes you just gotta be in that area to like really and understand like, and appreciate bro, what they Boosie mean. It's really know? like a southern Tupac. Like, bro, yeah. that music is crazy. Like yeah. all the stupid shit he does on camera, people don't really understand how good bro's music is. Like, yeah, like, he, everything Kodak and Young Boy are, bro. This nigga Boosie. Yeah, it started with Boosie. Bro. Absolutely. Like, oh, and those don't even get me started on those two guys. Yeah. Better than the whole night. <laughs> Who's the young boy? Are better? I mean, young boy and Kodak are better than the whole '90s rap. The whole oh genre. man, <laughs> some niggas are lyrical. Those are the most yeah. lyrical. Oh rappers. yeah, oh that's lyrical right there. Like 
niggas be trying to be lyrical, think they lyrical because they're talking about blah blah blah. Like nigga, these niggas are talking about being locked up, the system, being addicted to drugs, blah blah blah. This is the yeah. problem that y'all keep talking about people being incarcerated. This is the motherfucking person that was incarcerated and is speaking his mind. Like yeah, and they're showing it. Yeah, you know, like they yeah, yeah, like they're both. You know, like they're like I got I got my problems with both of them for whatever personal like dickhead reasons, but like they make great music. Like it's it's undeniable, right. and that's the reason why it's so complicated. Yeah, you know, he's all over Kendrick's like, album for a reason. Yeah, it's, it's, Kendrick I, literally. I know, I, I could just see it. Kendrick probably was like, damn, this nigga's better than. Me. Yeah, Kodak Less, Black yeah. is better than Kendrick Lamar. That is a stamp. Like, listen to all his <laughs> albums, bro. That nigga has way more shit to rap about. Kendrick Lamar is nice, maybe rapping about nothing. Like, what what do these niggas' lives consist of? Like, you need something happening in your life to rap good. Like, Jay-Z's best run was when he was going through the case. Snoop Dogg's best run was the case. Like, R. Kelly, Jigga Kelly, not guilty. That shit took Jay-Z to the, to the next level. I've seen that mm -hmm. shit in my own two eyes. If you ain't going through nothing, it's like, future. He went through a breakup. He did his whole little thing. It's like, that's why these niggas, they don't be the J. Cole. That, that's why people don't like J. Cole. He don't go through nothing. So it's like, what the fuck are you rapping about? College? <laughs> that's why he went through something with Lil Pump. Then people wanted to listen to him. It's like, right. oh, dude, you're not a bitch. You pulled up on these niggas. But you know what else is crazy about Cole specifically? One of my favorite Cole songs is uh, Neighbors, the one that's about him getting run up on by the SWAT team. You that's know, like, like that's they li they literally ran up into his house. But that's and, what like, I've been getting into too. You know, like, like more yeah. writing songs about my life. Cause like, I have so much shit I could tell, but I want to be bigger. Cause I hate when I make songs about things and them shit don't go nowhere. So it's like, fuck. But it's like, I got yeah. shit I'm trying to say and shit like little shit that people like, you know what I'm saying? A little conscious shit, but I'm trying to do that shit once the I got enough eyes on me. Cause it's like, I could do that shit right now, and nobody's gonna hear. And it's like, damn, I just said all this shit for no reason, damn. But it's like, yeah, I got this notebook where it's like, when it's time, I'm working on the album now. It might be that, but like, I have these certain songs. It's like, bro, it's mad shit I gotta talk about, and I'm just right now just talking about balling. Right now, I'm just really showing y'all I can rap. When yeah. The next, the next tapes is shit. I'm gonna show y'all I know how to make music type shit. Cause it's like I'm showing little glimpses of both, but like right now I'm on my songwriting shit. I'm on my shit. I need some girls. I need some singers. And, and yeah, we're working on a project right now. I got That's one project hard, with steroids, but then after that, I'm like working on a real album. That's tight. Yeah, because like I love because I, um, what's it called? I ran um I ran you and um subject and Lucas's album um uh um just yesterday and because I've been meaning to get to it and I finally ran it. And I and, and um I just wrote one of those tracks up today, like literally, like just oh, a couple Lord, hours. Ago. Yeah, that was me, man. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really know you was working at Pitchfork too. Oh. Shit. That should be confusing. Yeah, man. I'd be around. I'd be around. I'd be around. <laughs> um, but no, it's like I was listening and just like hearing you, just like you know, just like little details in a song, like outside of Duncan, just you talking about like, oh, like fuck, fuck some fancy food. I'd rather have some chicken wings. Like that's like just like 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 that it's like it's such like a small little detail but like i think i wrote in my track review just like i think i saw that, that like that <laughs> shit to me is like like i you know like i grew up or like 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 i grew up around like sifes and just like going to just like random fucking stores and just like grabbing food from places and shit you know like you know, like he, you know, like hearing stuff like that is just like, oh, I know that. Like I, li you know, you know, like I live that, so I feel it. You know, like just like like you were saying before about just like rap about what you know and what you live and like really embrace that shit. Like, relate. you know, like I feel it. So like I'm telling you right now, like I feel it. You know, like. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's why I'm trying to mention little things. It's like, bro, the same rap I like is because I hear shit. Fucking lucky me, Jay Z songs. It's like certain Jay Z, all every any rap, even Lil Uzi be like, I don't make so many money. Like, she fucking me. Like uh, Lil Uzi's love songs. Like, bro, I fuck with them shits. I be going through shit with bitches. It's like, how can I not like that shit here? Some people hear shit like, oh, he's soft. It's like my nigga, be real with yourself, bro. Like, that's yeah. what this is about. You can't music can't just be about fucking. I got drugs. I got drugs, nigga. What kind of drugs you got? Be more detailed. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna like, <laughs> Like that's why I like certain like Detroit rap too because it's like yeah, like, oh, 
I'm just selling drugs. It's like, nah, nigga, I made this off selling this, and I got a house over here, and I got more rooms. Like, yeah, they're specific, bro. Like, I love, I love what's going on in Detroit. Detail, they, bro. They, they've had, they, they've had, they've, they've had the game on lock for at least the last four or five years. Like, like the, the Detroit really scene is good stupid. in school. Like, I wasn't ever really a school nigga, but I could say that it's like some writing shit. A lot of people are like basic writers. Like, I've been trying to get better at writing myself. That's how I'm even seeing this shit. It's like a lot of people ain't really breaking shit down. Like, Jay Z never told you he sold drugs. But if you listen to his music and break this shit down, I used to read Tennessee, he sold drugs, but Jay Z never really told you I sold crack right. on the corner. Like, Right. It was never it was never that it was never that direct. Like, you know, like you would have to understand what he meant by going to find 92 bricks to get that he sold drugs. Is this obvious, obvious, you know, like like yeah. that guy D Smoke. You know who that is? Oh yeah, like, I know D Smoke. Or whatever. I saw an interview with him and it was that like, he was knocking niggas out everywhere in Cali. It's like if you listen to this music, you would never think that. But it's like same shit with Tribe Called Quest. Them niggas get into all types of fuck shit. But Fine. you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna hear it in the music, like who knows what i get into i listen to the music you might find out you might not but yeah that's what the music is for like i'm not gonna put all my cards out like yeah you know like it, you, you, you know like you have you know like you have the power we all have the power to like let people know like what goes on in our lives and to what extent we want people to be in our lives you know and like that's you know like people contain multitudes and it's kind of like what you were going back to uh, saying before about like you know, like you, you know, like you see, you see people like within this community, this like small tight knit, like New York, New Jersey, whatever we got going on shit. Like I get so many people who are surprised when somebody like a, like a Frank Fly Anakin, for example, would be like, I love Young Thug. And people would be like, what? And it's like, I don't know, like it makes sense to me. And also like, who cares? Like, it, it's just like, people just like, like the shit cause it's hard. And you know, like you would just, like, it's like, oh, I would, I would have never guessed that. And it's like, so? Like, so cool, like. Saw Sada Baby vlog or whatever, he had an interview. He walks into the trap house, Boldy James is right there rolling dice. He's like, bruh, we don't have to make the same type. You don't have like, to make the same type of music, bruh. Like, shit, I might relate to that more than like, bruh, I relate to more of the, Lil Uzi music than I do with the people that make similar people my peers, like people around me, people I do shows with. Like, cause it low key don't be like the same thing. But like it's certain niggas I do fuck with heavy. Like, I, that's why I fuck with YL. Like we're like kinda of off the same thing. Starker, mm. we kinda of all like grew up same age, same shit. Lucas, Wiki, like we all grew up off the same type of things. We're all the same age, which is kind of scary. Like me, Wiki, YL, Starker, and Lucas. All the same age. All the niggas I work with are my age, so it's like, whoa, this is weird. But like, sometimes I think it's the younger kids that like make that vulnerable rap. Like, and that and, and like that's great too. Like, I love I love that vulnerable think, pain. I don't shit, think you know? I'm smart enough for that. That's the whole problem. Cause it's like I think that's the kids that their school the schools change after I graduate. So it's like mm -hmm. they're teaching you all these things. Like, I only know about Harlem Renaissance and all that shit because I grew up uptown. These kids are being taught all this pro black and all this. And that's how you're hearing it in the music now. Like me, I don't really know too much about that shit. I feel like that. I don't know how to put it into words because I wasn't taught that shit. So it's right. like I hear people like like, like even like uh, Trayvon Martin and shit, like all those incidents and shit. Like I wasn't in school. I was far removed from that shit. So it's like the only way I would see that shit is, in tw is on Twitter and shit. So it's like it hit me, but like not like I would hit these kids because they were like 14, 15. But George Floyd right. on the other and that motherfucker, that shit hit. But like all the first few murders, like it didn't really hit me because I was like in my own world in my brain. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, so right. by the cops? Oh shit, this is crazy. Then keep it moving. But then these kids were in school hearing about this shit all day. That's why the rap, there's like a new wave of rap where it's like mad conscious because these kids were raised in the school being taught this shit. My days of school, niggas ain't give a fuck. It was 9-11. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> like niggas are talking about 9-11. I ain't hear I ain't really learned nothing about niggas being racist or none of that's new. That's good though. Like they're teaching these kids that shit because we were dumb. I can't even lie. My generation of kids, like 93, 92, we were dumb. Like we wasn't off. Yeah, you man. can even hear it through the music, like G Herbo, all the niggas my age, we ain't really on that super conscious shit because we wasn't really like that shit wasn't even I mean, in our world. I I mean, I mean, like Herbo kind of is, especially recently. But that's the industry know? leaning him towards that, because like, bro, niggas mm -hmm. don't know what the fuck is a PTSD. 
That's mm. some like school industry for the younger kids type. Then now everybody's like mental health, PTSD. Like, bro, I was going to um whatever that's just called psychiatrist, therapist. I never knew it was mental health. I just thought uh, my life was fucked up and I needed help. But it's like yeah. nowadays people just use buzzwords type shit. Where it's yeah, like it, kids are taught these things. Yeah, you know, and it's just like, you know, like shit evolves and like we like gain. I was literally just talking to somebody else about this. Uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but just about how like we don't have like the language for certain shit or like we didn't have, you, you know, like meaning like you and me, like people like because you were cause, younger homies and I'll be mad impressed. Even you probably, you're probably way younger than me. You're mad smart. Like, but I talked to hella younger homies. I'll be like, damn, y'all niggas are way smarter than we were. What the fuck? And it's not even like. It's technical smart, maybe not street smart. So that's what we got. We got street yeah. smart. We know how to move. Shit was different back in our era. And it's not like it's that much time changed, but bro, the schools changed from those little four years and shit. Like everybody totally. got their uniform. Where you went to school at? I went to school in Montclair. So Montclair High School? Yeah. Word. We got wore uniform? Nah. Okay. It's the cities, like in the cities and shit, the shit changed. Yeah. Like from 2011 to 2012, yeah. everybody was like, it was like, nah, nigga, we ain't fucking around. If you 19, you get kicked out of school. You not doing, we don't do no fifth year seniors. Like, shit got real. That's why these kids are way smarter nowadays. Like, everybody went to college. Niggas graduated, had corona, got unemployment money. Like, these kids, these new kids are way smarter and more advanced than we were. Like, for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and like, that's how it should be. You know, like, no, you, you not know. Just even us. We're smarter than the kids that came before us. Like, that, yeah. You know, like we just like we have like more of a grasp on certain different things and we might not have a grasp on what like on what like the younger kids now do. It, you know, like, but like but like the thing that's beautiful about the thing is beautiful about kind of being a little older and also being like. I'm trying to think of how to say this, just like being like like whether it's in music or in life, you know, like every you know, like we're all learning like every day, like, you know, you're not really like living. You're not really living if you're not learning. And it's like, you know, like young and old, people are teaching me things every day. You know, like I learned, I learned, like I learned a bunch. A lot Sorry, of people are like listening to younger kids. All my homies yeah. are younger than me. I listen to them because why? Because, bro, them niggas are the future. I said, the kids go move the future. We got to water the seeds. The, yeah. this, bro, them niggas are the future. These kids are the future, bro. Like, they know what we don't. It's, we may think we know it all. Them niggas know what's about to be popping next month. I went to Europe, all the kids in Europe, they're telling me the new wave of rap is conscious rap. I'm like, oh shit, really? I don't see, I see yeet. They're like, nah, nigga, we see the future. They're seeing conscious rap is the future of rap in Europe. Yeah, and you know, yeah, and, yeah and, and, like, and like, it makes sense because like, because of like all the people out in Europe, they fuck with like, they fuck with like the Navy blues and like all of them and like, and, and, and like that type of shit. And it's like, and it's crazy because like, I like I, I'm I'm also like really happy that we kind of like abandoned the term conscious because like I don't even think about that shit as like conscious music anymore because like it's all you know and like we're all conscious and it's funny because I just talked to Sage about this last year too like it's just like we're all conscious like you you you, you know you know like you know like Kodak to a certain extent most is conscious, conscious. he's the most conscious you know? that's what I be saying he's the most conscious <laughs> rapper the smartest he been through you know like, like he yeah I love Kodak. You, you, you know, like, you know, like I bring him up just to say that, like, to be conscious is to be self-aware is to, like, understand who you are, where you come from and what you stand for. And like, you don't have to, you know, like, you don't have to be spitting fucking, you don't have to be spitting fucking history lessons no, that's to like, understand who you are. So conscious. I'm just the first to admit it. Yeah. Like, you know, like that's, that, that exactly. that's changed my life. Like, literally. Exactly. That's why I'm 2004 till this day, because the album dropped in 04, like. Life changed. College dropout? Yes, life changed in 04. You, we was just, I was wearing three XTs. I was in fifth grade. I was wearing button ups sixth grade. I was wearing yeah, same. Great. Like that life changed. Like that's 04. If you're yeah. 04, nigga, mentally, I'm in 2004, but my swag, I'm a beyond. Because I'm 04, nigga. Mentally, I'm like, I'm not getting with these new niggas. Shit. I ain't fuck all that. Like, I'm not getting with a lot of new things. Like, but you gotta move forward. So it's like, I'm not trying to be old school all the way, but my mentality is like, I'm not moving like these young kids. I got morals. I've been outside. Like these young kids don't give a fuck. They just trying to move on to the next one. But yeah, 
I'm trying to put them on. Just like I learned from them, I'm trying to have them learn from me. Yeah, you know, and like, you know, like that like cultural exchange is just like, that shit is so important, whether it's in music or in life. And it's why, and it's why I love, I was, you know, like I had a moment, I had a moment maybe like a month ago. I forget exactly what it was, but just like, I just had a thought where it's like, we're like living through history, you know, just like, especially when, it, yeah, like, especially when it comes to music, like we're just like living through history right now. And like, you know, like, you know, like we're going to look like the, like wh whatever the kids are on in 10 or 20 years, they're going to be looking back on what we're, what we're doing and what we're covering and what we're experiencing right now and be like, I wish I could have lived in that time. You know, like, I wish I could have seen that just like, exactly. just like the way, just the way that, you know, like you, you know, like you look back on the eighties, like niggas in 2040 in 2050, you're going to be looking back on what Papo 2004 yeah. is doing right now and be like, damn, really loud, dude. Like, damn, I wish I, and how we look at Woodstock footage, Woodstock 99 kids are going to look at rolling loud. Like, Oh my God, I wish I was there. Probably. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> okay. Cause I, I see, I mean, I'll be catching myself watching like, Oh, rock the bells or like oh chief keith first performance and shit like yeah because that's just already 10 years ago like yeah bro i saw you you mentioned rolling loud i was there covering it uh, on my was, i'm i'm profiling two artists once again can't say it on on the oh. air because i signed i signed an nda every one of them but i saw i, I saw it. keith whatever that's, that's how you know it's real you're doing a good job dang i'm trying um <laughs> i saw i saw keith for the first time and may, probably the only time I'm ever going to see him because he canceled shows that was all the good time. One. That was good. That, was, that, that shit was incredible. You know, like he, you know, like he, you know, like he, he, he performed maybe like 40%. He's like Cardi. He performed like 40% of the lines, but like that was one of the like easily top five shows I've ever been to in my life. And I've seen Prince before he died. Like what that was fuck? like, up, like that was like, that was like up there with like, <laughs> so. <laughs> So Prince, um, um, Prince was touring an album. Uh, he was touring, I think it was Musicology, and my and my pops is a huge Prince fan, uh, and you know, like he played, he played at uh, MetLife Stadium, and and he was like, "I'm taking you and your two cousins. We're gonna go see Prince," and we saw, and yeah, I saw Prince, and it was great. Like <laughs> you know, like I can't, like you know, he you when know, he, Wiki he, and them they performed at the same venue as Prince, and they went on tour. Subject was losing his mind. Oh shit! Where in Europe? And no, Minnesota. Mm, okay, okay, or, okay. Yeah, it's like the shit with the car in it or some shit. I don't really know. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't really know either. But all I know is I was in the, you know, like he did Purple Rain and it started raining, bro. And he was just like on. <laughs> it, it was, it was. I'm so serious. Like it was, <laughs> it was, you know. So like, but but like I'm saying, I seen that, and that Chief Keef show I saw last week was almost as good as that. Like what? that's how good that shit was. Like it was, it was amazing. Like I love it. It's Chief Keef is like just important as fuck. Like, yeah, the niggas mad and important, bro. Cause like I remember when that shit happened. The little that shit happened right here in Elizabeth. The um the blow New Jersey up shit. It oh happened oh in yeah, in Elizabeth. So it's like I remember when that shit happened, bro. People were like, like secretly trying to not listen to Chief or secretly playing Chief <laughs> Keef because like, you couldn't really play it. So the niggas are still bumping that shit like. Bro, that nigga's powerful, bro. But he didn't come yes. to Jersey since, though. But what the fuck you got to do in Jersey? Yeah, you know, like, he he has no reason to come back. I'm I'm happy I'm happy you brought that up because I was gonna ask you how you felt about that. But just like yeah, like it was it was yeah, like, like yeah, it was kind of like a joke. Like yeah, you know, like it, it was it it wasn't like super serious, but it's just like funny to think about it. It's just like oh, you did this, you know, like I, I you know, like it, it's. No, nah, but really you know. did it. He put on Twitter that he was gonna blow up burgers and mapes. That's really what did it. That's like the famous grape hood of Nork. He was, I'm gonna blow up Bergen and mapes. And they go, What the fuck is you saying? <laughs> he, tweeted he tweeted that shit. He was like, I'm gonna shoot, I'm coming to Bergen and Mapes right now. That shit is so specific, too. Like, that's like such a spot. Like, I don't understand. Uh, like, why would you say damn, that? Like, nigga, what? You bugging. It's <laughs> crazy. Son, um, so wow, this is this like this has been so great. This has been so fire so far. Like I think we're like we've, we've been going for like an hour and a half. Like this has been great, bro. <laughs> like, oh my god, like I, you know, like it's it's like, like I had like I had a handful of questions. Like like that's what I love about doing interviews when like I like 
I write my questions as like a guideline most of the time. But like, if it's going as well as this one's going, it just kind of moves. Well, no, but and keep like going. this is some questions then fuck it. it's lit let's nah, see what you got yeah <laughs> yeah no 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 i definitely not yeah no 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 i definitely i definitely got a couple questions i just think this is great just the way we've been just like moving at it like it just feels yeah. it just it just feels good so um uh, uh let me see let me me let me, let me find my questions okay so um so obviously we talked about him a bunch over the course of the last hour and a half, but like you and Subject, like you and Subject Five have a great relationship. You know, like that's your producer, that's your DJ. He fucking has like the coolest, he puts the coolest overdub vocal effect whenever he does shit live. Just like the fucking echo, echo, echo on the MV oh, shit. Oh yeah. That, that shit always <laughs> makes me laugh. Um, so like, so like when did y'all two meet and what was it about Subject that kind of drew you to him and was like, oh, like this is my guy. You know, Honestly, bro, I saw him on the floor. He was begging for change, right, and I gave him fifty cents. Say not, say not, say not. Fucking um, we was just all rapping in Jersey, and I think we found his what that shit called bank camp. And like, I just sent him yeah. like, three dollars some shit. Then I was like, oh, this nigga's from Elizabeth. We gotta hit him up. Then I saw his picture. I was like, I seen this nigga walk around before. Then shit, we just linked, start cooking out. But he was in another group before called east mob and we were still 2004 but they get everybody quit making music and shit so we the last men standing <laughs> me and subject are the two last men standing damn that's so crazy <laughs> yeah and like and you know like when you it's like when you first heard his shit what was it about subject that really like drew you to what he was making uh he was make good quality beats Everybody makes beats, but like subject shifts, they how they sound now, they sounded before. Probably now, obviously, now they probably sound way better, but like the compression and the drums being on point, that shit was always like that. Like he was making mm -hmm. more like Space Ghost Perp type shit, but right, it was already sounding cleaner than Space Ghost Perp type shit. So it's like I'm more of a clean guy, I don't really like my music to sound dusty. A lot of underground people do, but like I ain't really, I like my shit sounding like we fucking got mixed by Young Guru. That's all good, you know, like that. You know, and you subject the young guru. Hey, man, come on now. That no, nah, I like that. I fuck with that because, like, and, and, and like one thing I love about subject is that, like, once again, like you, like he pulls from like five different places for like one beat. You know, like it's just like you know, <laughs> you, you know, like there's like there's so many there's so many little details about a song that'll just like make me think about Jersey, and I'm just like, he gets it. You know, like that them, them two get it. You know, like, like I can feel it in there, like whatever it is, like, th like that, like un, that, like unidentifiable quality. Whether it's like some people be listening like, to like a French Montana song, he's like, "Oh my God, this is so Jersey." I'm like, "All right, like it's not even from Jersey, but, but it's like that's basically what you're saying. It's like certain things you just hear Jersey in, it, and it might not even be like that's the subject be off. He always calling something Jersey that's not Jersey. You listen to fucking like Tokyo Drift, like, "Yo, this some Jersey shit," like, bro, what? This is far from so, dirty. Nigga. I think subject loves New Jersey out of anybody. Like, is he really from here, bro? Like, born and raised. Yeah, son. Jer Jersey's a state of mind. Like, that's that. That's like that's real. Bro, I swear, <laughs> bro. What, once I got stuck in Jersey, bro. Like, I don't even care. Like, Wiki gets mad as hell sometimes because, like, when I introduce myself, I'll be like, I'm from Jersey. He be like, No, he's from New York. I'll be like, Bro, both, both. Like, come on. Like Wiki take that serious. <laughs> Wiki be like him and Subject be arguing, like pull both pull at one side. I'm like, bruh, I'm in the middle, <laughs> bruh. Fuck with Wick. That's my guy for real, for real. Yeah, man. Sh shout out to Wick. I'm so I'm so excited for him and Subject's tape. It's um I haven't listened to it yet, but it's gonna be great. Yes, I can't wait. That's good. I got like two joints on there. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah, right. You do. I saw the I saw the track list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Going I'm crazy. Hyped. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, honestly. I like doing shit like this. It's like, bruh. We finally working with people that are somebody's. You're not like we are anybody's or like, but like, is yeah, that can accomplish me? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get it. Like, yeah, nah, like with, like, nigga, like Wiki, because I was fucking with. That's the first time, like, I, I was fucking with his music. If I go to my DMs right now, I was literally DM him randomly in like 2018. Like, yo, you go hard, and I never do that. I never DM him. I would say, yo, you go hard. And shit, right. two years later, we're working. But I fuck with that because it's like, bro. He could be anywhere in the world. You don't really have to fuck with niggas. Like, 
Same shit with Lucas. Like Lucas had his own career. He don't have to fuck with niggas. Like mm-hmm. that's genuine. Yeah. Right there. You don't really have to like. Yeah, that was mad. You genuine. Could, yeah, right. You could just tell people care, you know, and like, and they you know, care, I, I, I just, I just, I just get right. I just get that just off the strength, just like of like, damn, like people just care, you know, like just like being around people who care about you. Yeah, and like so you got to experience being subject like, arguing about music. You'll be like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? And bro, me and subject argue, bro, like it's like a fight, like, and it just be like, yo, I want to record this verse. And you making a beat. Like it's literally some shit like that. Like the most stupid arguments, but it's all about being passionate about what we put it together type shit. Like the beat is for me. Right. I'm trying to record something on his beat. So it's like arguing about the most dumb, like about nothing, basically. We're just arguing because we both want it. We both trying to do this. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, y'all love it and y'all love each other. And that's like I don't know that, if I love yeah. that, but I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hold <on>. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's listening to everything he's right here <laughs> oh, look i ain't I've, I've been here the whole time he was taking a nap <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I, 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 I think was well, son oh my god are you serious <laughs> yeah, yeah. nah because you, you from me i was just i was just like look i was i was, I was like look i want i want because it's like i'm it's a trip for me watching him doing this shit. you get what i'm saying so i was just sitting in the back watching rocco Listening to everything, it was certain pinpoints. That's, that's hilarious. What the, what the fuck? What's up, bro? What's going on, cuz? Let's go with you, bro. I'm cooling, man. We just we just been talking for an hour and a half. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm 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 plotting on dinner right now, honestly. But I'm I'm cooling. How are you? Facts. I'm I'm low key on the same shit. Now the thing is, when when y'all was talking, like. Like I said, I heard I was I was hearing the whole interview and shit. I just wanted to just sit back as like a fly on the wall, you know, and just hear it from the outside perspective, like outside and inside perspective. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? So yeah, bro. For real. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, like you already know what it is. Like I'm fucking with your shit, and just like I'm proud of you, and just seeing you like move around and just like yeah, I love I, it. Yeah. I'm I'm just like some movie. Nah, this shit, this this shit a blessing, bro. And this and it's like we we was going at this shit. Like when he when he was talking about just now, like seeing me around the city and shit, that was damn near like 10 years ago. Yeah, almost like 10 years ago. You get what I'm saying? So it's just yeah. think about how this shit all and it, it's funny how all this shit ended up, you know. Like we literally like the last two standing members. Well, you know about Uwe? you know, so you know about Uwe? Huh? Uwe two times? You ever yeah. heard about Louis? He's like the other rapper be rapping with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't That's know. I, I don't know a lot, but I know right the name. Too. You know. Yeah, he's he's yeah. We like the. Final. He's in another lane too. That's uh-huh. the best thing about it. We all in different lanes and shit. So it's like it's crazy. Right. Like we was doing that right, SoundCloud man. shit heavy back in the day, fucking with like, you know, SoundCloud music. Did you know we we had a we used to do shows in Jersey back then? Like we booked everybody. Like Black Cray and shit. We know the activists. Yeah. Even Cardi came to one of Cardi, our Cardi, yep. And no, damn, that was one of. Yeah, nah. I never, I never been to any of the shows, but I heard about them, especially that Uno the activist one. I remember, yeah. I remember hearing he about was that. Doing, shit. That's what I'm saying. Like we was doing shit in Jersey before anything was like yeah. before that shit was even thought of. Uh-huh. Like before mm-hmm. North even got gentrified. Like, right. and just to right. add on real quick, just to add on, like also like. That was what, like, I knew them for, like, him and the homies and shit, because they used to throw shows. Like, other than me just seeing them around the city walking around, like, me and my homies, we would just pull up to where they had the spot at, where they used to throw the shows at and shit, pop out, you feel me, show love and all of that shit. We had a lot of mutuals and shit, but it was around a time where they would be throwing hella shows, like, right. every other weekend, every other two weekends. Also, uh, Brain Orchestra, you know what that is? Oh, of course I do. That's the homie. Shout out to, shout you, out you to Brain. I, I went to, we all I went, went to school. We all went to school with Brain. You feel me? Like Brain, Brain was, I think, was his class. No, he's younger. He's young. He's like one class below you or some shit. And then he mm-hmm. was like a, a senior before I was, and we was like the only two niggas in the school, like yeah, on producing. We really the last men. It's me funny. Subject and Brain, Brain are the too. Last men it's like we we, Hard, we, we, we was like planting the seeds early, like my junior year. 
senior year. You and then horror saying? is the only niggas that made it. You ever heard of horror? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, horror. I, I, I only love niggas horror. that made it. Type Word shit. up. Right. I, I got their, I got. I, I literally have their T-shirt in my fucking dresser. Like right oh, now, I wear that shit. Still. I, saw them. I feel it. I can dig it. Rapping yeah, curves, yeah, bro. man. Bro, I don't listen like, to them we, niggas, but I represent them. Anywhere I, I go, I'm like horror. If I meet rock people, I'll be like horror. Horror. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I so fuck with them hard, so they're great. Where? I fuck with uh, yeah, them. yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. I saw um, what's it called? My people's um injury reserve. They opened. They opened for hard. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nate, Nate. Nate was one of the first people I saw outside of our area fucking with your music. Who's Nate? Which uh, is like Herbert and Herbert. Richie. Richie. Oh, Richie. Richie. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah no, yeah, I yeah. met him. I'm, it was mad natural. I met him at a fucking green room with Wiki and them. He would just say, we was chopping it up. I, I like to set, bro. Them niggas are mad artistic, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm meeting people like that. Them niggas making me want to step my shit up way more. Like, right, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel, yeah, no, I feel you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those are, like, my people. Like, those are, like, those Bird. are, like, my brothers. Like, Bird. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, like, they're, yeah, like, they're real good people. I love them. Um, They're about to go to Europe and shit. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, no, like, it's, it's. So I saw the this is they got me making some good connections. Yeah, man. no, like, and, and yeah, like they want to help. Like that's a beautiful thing too. Like everyone is just trying to make connections and shit. Bruh. And just like, oh my god, I'm surprised you even mentioned them niggas. Like I fuck with them so heavy. It's like not even funny. That's probably the yeah. only different music I. Nah, I can't say that. But like, like the most different music I really listen to is them. Like them niggas. Like I'm mean, just trying to figure it out. Like what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's it's yeah, like especially now, bro. Like Parker Parker's a fucking animal. He's he's an alien. I don't Who's understand that? how he Yeah, bro. I don't understand how he does bro. what he does. <laughs> I'm telling you, I <laughs> see the niggas live. I was like, holy it was that it was, bro, it was like back to back to back crazy live sets. It was a Kai Solo and Wiki, yeah, injury reserve, then ugly man with the fucking machine, like yeah. a fucking bro, some crazy shit. That's why I'm like, yo, Wiki, you the man, you really bringing me to all this shit. Yeah, bro. That that that's like, man. And 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 like before we wrap this up, I remember because like because like I because like I got into rap because like I got into Rat King when like Rat King was a thing. So like I remember when like the Wiki ninety three EP came out, and like I was uh to, like to see him go from that to seeing him and them open up for Earl on the fucking tour when they put out So It Goes. Like So It Goes is one of my favorite albums of all time. Like right. that's like a formative fucking work for me. It's like, crazy. I always tell Mickey this. I never listened to Rat King. I have to. And make make it. No, I, I just want to say that's what I, I want to come in on this one because I was I was a Rat King fan back in my day. You know what I'm saying? Like junior sophomore, yeah. junior senior. Yeah, I, I used to fuck with Rat King heavy. Actually, like in college, my first semester, I forgot it was like some music class we had to make like a uh like a PowerPoint slide or some shit. And I used one of the Rat King beats from uh what project was it? Uh, Seven Hundred Phil. Uh huh. I used an instrumental off that joint, so it was Ooh, like he's gonna, uh, if so, he so, likes Rat King, he's gonna like the tape. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah, that, what he just said. What he just said, basically. I'm, but, I'm, I'm ready. Add on what y'all talking about, like even for me, it's a trip because it was like I dead ass listened to this nigga. You get what I'm saying? I was watching the videos, him going up to Damn, the like, bro. radio. Radio doing the radio freestyles and shit in the city and shit. Mm -hmm. So he's nigga crazy for real. I feel you 100%. And like, I don't know. Do, um, do y'all remember 285 Kent in Brooklyn? Like the, like the small That's ass like venue, venue, right? I never went there. Yeah. So, so Wiki, so uh, Rat King and Trash Talk, they played one of like the last shows at 285 Kent before they shut the shit down. And I went there. Like that was like around the time So It Goes came out. And like, like I like I've been fucking I've been fucking with Wick for about a decade at this point. Like since I was in college. Like I'm really? I'm I'm a huge Wiki fan. So Absolutely. like it's Crazy. You, you know like to see to see him working with y'all and like really just still making connections between all these different little generations and just like just putting people together, like putting good people together. Like it's crazy as fuck. Because I was listening yeah. to Navy too, and I'm like, oh Wiki and Navy got a tape coming out. I was like, whoa, this is crazy as fuck. Yeah, the, oh, man. I should drop first, actually. Now, Which one? When I first saw Lincoln Wiki, was like, I'm about to go shoot a video with Uncle John. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? What that nigga hard? I was like, just started listening to that nigga. 
Oh, he's crazy too. Yeah. Crazy. I fuck with all that. I fuck with a lot of the new niggas that's around our age group because it's like fuck repping for these older niggas. We got something going on over here. Let's push this shit. Even if I don't know them niggas, I'm pushing for their shit to work because if they work, our shit's gonna work. Type shit. It all smooth as a unit. Right. Like, yeah. Go crazy. I go crazy. I go crazy is gonna help Wiki. Is gonna help Lucas. Gonna help everybody. Similar. Like even Facts, if we man. all make the same music, like it's helping. Rising, yeah, nah. Rising tide lifts all boats. A- absolutely, yeah. like that. That's that's facts. Yo, like, I like this conversation could just go on forever, but like, I do gotta wrap it up. Oh, no, no, gotta get. Um, last question that I ask everybody who comes on this shit, Papo two thousand four. If your life was a movie, what would it be about? My life would be about my life. I swear to God, I live the movie. I could my it'll be like get rich that child do a bio pick. My life is a movie. Like I swear. I'm really trying to make a movie because there's not a movie that my life is gonna be like paid in full, but the Washington yeah. Heights version. Because, Washington Heights version of paid in full, okay. Because all the drugs in paid in full were brought to them by Dominicans, which is my family. Mm-hmm. So it's like from there. It's like, all right, those same niggas that was bringing the drugs all got deported. Then it comes me, the new generation, all the sons. We're all not trying to do street shit because we came up on the street niggas. So it's like, yeah, we're going to make a movie about me, like trying to stay out the way, trying not to do uh, crime. Because I'll be trying. I'll be trying. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to stay away. It's hard to live life and not do crime if you didn't go to college and, you know. I'm gonna go to college though. Hey man, shit's real yeah. out here. And That's just like whatever it's gonna be called, it, called Pop Up. Just the yeah. movie's gonna be called Pop Up. Okay. I thought it's gonna be called Pop Up. Is it means so much? Damn. I'm a, yeah, yeah, we got a movie on the way. Me and Lucas making a movie too. Uh, there you go. You got an exclusive. All Lucas right. Is the movie world. So you might have to tap in with bro too, because he's really a movie guy. All right. Yeah, make yeah, that happen at some point. Festival, baby. He was born at the Tribeca Film Festival. Oh shit. <laughs> you got a DM wow. him, yo, Is it true you was born at Tribeca Film Festival? <laughs> DM him, dude. Yeah. I'ma do that. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but son, yo, Pop, thank you so much, man. This is this was this this was like first interview. Oh, first like vocal interview. I wrong oh, oh, interview. So shout out to Yah, Yah Gang. Love y'all, man. I'm, that's I'm like Elizabeth with us. It was lit. <laughs> yeah, man. Damn. Yeah. Nah. I saw. I saw. I saw him say that. Like. Yeah. Nah. It's. It's like. It's always. It's always so cool to get to do shit like that. And I don't get to like do in person shit as much as I want to. It's happening more now, which is oh, great. Yeah, but like, whatever you around, brothers, go get something to eat or some shit. Yeah. Something. Absolutely. There, I'm open pigeons and peas in Bloomfield. Let's go tap in with them. All right. Yeah. Nah. D- DM me. DM me your number. We'll figure it out gangsta um but yo thank you but like this was just like this was just this 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 went crazier than i could have imagined so just like thank you for taking the time i know you're not a big movie dude but we just like we we made something cool happen so thank you like appreciate you gangsta let's do it we did it oh man hell fucking yeah thanks for listening shout out to y'all for making it this far and shout out to all the black people listening too because y'all really impeccable Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell a friend to come through next time. One.